The following podcast has been rated listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. Uh, would you rather give up cheese or blowjobs for the rest of your life? <laughs> blowjobs all day. I, I'm the same. I'm fucking Yeah, same. they hurt my jaw. Blank. Rejected name for condoms. Gosh, I don't know. Cock koozies, jizz mittens, ham holsters, kidnappers. Yeah, try it now! <laughs> <laughs> try it, try it now! What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I'm your host. My name is Scotty German, a.k.a. Scooter McFuckstick, and alongside me, I have two excellent fucking human beings. First, he is the best DEI hire of all time. Please welcome back Mr. J.P. Is that true? It really is. Okay. It really is. Right on. We get we get more comedy and, and more, you know, we get a bit broader jokes whenever uh, you're here. I see. About sucking dick. Dick jokes. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Uh-huh. It's all the gay jokes that come yeah, in. Right. Yeah. And also, back from getting married and an excellent honeymoon, my brother, please welcome back, Fred. Hey, hey. Glad to be back. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. Ah, oh, ladies and gentlemen, we have an excellent show for you this week, as we always do. Uh, we have, um, you know... Hot topics, which I really yeah, love. I'm super JP about really that. loves, and I Derek love fucking hates. <laughs> yeah, which I, makes me love it even <laughs> more. Uh, we've got Never Have I Ever. That's why I draw the line questions and preguntas. And as always, a draft in a shitty situation. But we always like to kick the show off with our week, week recap. Guys, if this is the very first time you've ever listened to the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast, this is a comedy podcast where we like to make very inappropriate jokes about the current events that are going on in sports and inappropriate jokes that have nothing to do with sports whatsoever. This is also an adult podcast where you like to use foul language and offend people who have very thin skin. So if that's you, you're in the wrong place. Get the fuck out of here. Thank you and bye. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm on a fucking tear this week, boys. But we're going to start with week, week recap and the most anticlimactic person on the face of the planet. Uh, let's go ahead and go. Oh, JP. Jesus fucking Christ. Did you get it all out? I man? tried. I that? almost, I almost forgot fuck. a couple of shit, and I just needed to make sure I got it. Wow. So, yes, I tried to talk as fast as I fucking can. JP, shut up. Okay. This, anyway. this is going to be a good show, yeah. I can, can tell. Can you do it that fast? I am on one so yeah really i'm gonna let it. i'm gonna let you go <laughs> we're already starting late because jp decided to take a phone call right before we started recording the show hey it was very important it was, it was very important it was important i give if you that. it wasn't who called me i would have probably just skipped it but if, if i, knew I it would if, be important if i'd called you would you have took it no, no. I, I didn't think so no Same. i don't do that on a normal basis though. <laughs> I'll, like, I'll call him back whenever i have a few minutes <laughs> yeah Lion it's usually shit. do you want to do the podcast for free <laughs> Oh, I oh. think I already do. <laughs> yes. you, I'm glad you brought that up because shouldn't we at least be getting catered something? You know what I mean? Shouldn't we have right. some food or something? Sandwiches at least? with the crust cut off I mean, or something. Fuck, something? I mean, I could start doing some shit. I mean, it would be nice. I come over here every week for free. I fucking hype up your show. <laughs> yeah, I fucking that's true. build up your numbers. And you're sitting over here making all the money? Okay. What money? <laughs> Let me know. Oh, well, then we're doing something we're wrong. Doing, yeah, no wrong. kidding. Send us your tips. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> you uh, said tips. Yeah, that's Just. right. Uh, but no, we, we got the we got the OnlyFans idea that's yeah, still, we're gonna do, yeah. still, still stirring still around. Still stirring around with that. And lots of merch. Actually, I have been looking into doing some, some we merch. We should do shit. some merch. I, I got an idea, but the, here's the thing. The merch that we used to have... I was more or less pissed off about the quality of shit that was coming out of there. Yeah. And so I don't want to do that. If I if I if somebody pays thirty dollars for a fucking t shirt, oh, yeah, it better be a it nice better be a t-shirt. nice fucking t shirt. And so even you know what? Even if they pay fifty dollars, it better be a really nice fucking t shirt. I just don't want to put out shitty product. That's Whoa. that's then don't that's go like, to the same the, shitty people. Then why are we doing a podcast? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, well, shitty product. <laughs> <laughs> See, Fred brings up another <laughs> good point. You know what? I'm really glad Fred's here today. <laughs> Uh, there's been some shit I've been wanting to say, and uh, finally could come out. I know, I know, I know. But yeah, so there is some stuff in the mix to help with that the funding for helping pay JP's right. rent. Yes, uh, maybe he if he would stop smoking money. so much pot. I don't want money. I just want to redo the studio and fucking have some catering. For folks. Uh, all right. You know, that's oh well, all I want. done. Well, you know done. What I, mean? I tried to give him furniture. It's for my him, month. True. I mean, this is true. I wanted to take the furniture, but my wife didn't. 
One is two. You already sold that shit, too. No, it's sitting in the garage. Okay, I might. Come get it, please. Okay, okay, My garage is full of shit. <laughs> yeah, I know. All right, JP, <laughs> how was your week? Man, it was awesome. Okay, great. I fucking worked. I went bowling. Bowled really good. Okay, that's good. That's Man, changed. I dropped seven spots in N- one week, which is not really good. bad. Yeah. So I don't know where I'm going to be at this week, but uh, it will be much better than I that's good. started. So that's good. What was and, your average uh, in three games? Four games. Four games? 236, 237. Yeah, that's pretty good. Nice. That's nice. Upper, upper 230s. That's good. That's awesome. Not bad. I only had one game under. Yeah. So Okay, are you watching Sugar? I have not yet. What the fuck, dude? I dude? haven't had time. I really haven't been home. It shocks it me. It seems like I have. It sho- it really does. It shocks me when you're like, man, I got sucked into it, and then I realized yeah. that I wasn't all the way through it. Well, me and Clayton. And then it kind of pisses me off, and it sours me out of it. You know what I oh, mean? Oh, because like, they do a weekly episode now, release. Yeah, yeah now it's like, fucked. yeah, I, I understand completely. I did start I, watching something else. And what'd you find? Fuck. What'd you got? Clipped. Well, I don't even know what that is. It's on Hulu, I think, is what I watched eh, it on. Yeah, okay. But it's about the Clippers owner when a oh, it's about that whole fucking scandal. Y- yeah, I fucking, remember when that dude, was happening. It's uh, Ed O'Neill plays uh, the fucking owner, whatever the fuck his name is. I can't think of it right now. I just now realized that that uh, Fred, Fred had his headphones probably turned down, like because of no, my... I've been hearing everything. Oh, okay, I'm all right. Good. Maybe maybe it's just me. Yeah, I you just turned right. me way up, which I. <laughs> Okay. I appreciate. Okay, or okay, I'm just but, fucking uh, with shit. Okay, so so what did you think of Clipped? You really, like, really good. Really man. good. Okay, really I, good. I might consider it, but I'm getting ready to be. <sighs> There's only one show in the entire world that I will watch week to week to week oh, to week. God, is it the deadliest catch? Yes, it is. Oh, you're such a fucking douche. I, dude. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, he so. yells at him, tells him how to fish. Oh, I do. Sure I oh, fucking do. A hundred percent, I do. <laughs> Dude, I would fucking pay so much money to watch you go out on one of those boats. You would no fucking, shit. We, <laughs> we would Cry. finally be rid of you forever. I guarantee you go over the fucking side. If I was there for a week, I'd be okay. If it was any longer than no. that, I would be dead. No, Bullshit. I would be dead. It's not. They don't go out for a week, bro. Oh, I know. You go out for months. Months. Yeah. yeah. So, and you're going with them. Like Congratulations. One, one trip. We got you signed up. You're stuck. They, they, I mean, no, they, they still, they have to come back and get refueled and they offload and stuff like that. But I think if it was just one week and it was Scott, a, Scotty's and it was sneaking out with the cargo. <laughs> <laughs> He's totally. Oh, nobody sees it. Inside like, of like, <laughs> I absolutely love the show, but I am a bitch when it comes to stuff like that. It would be cold. It'd be wet. And I would be tired, and it would suck. But I still love that fucking show. I think Keith Litsky wants to spar. I, Can we do that? You know, we need to do more things, and I was thinking maybe that. I'm not an idiot. I know he'd beat the shit out of me. I'm not an, I'm not. So dumb. do I, and that's why I want this to do <laughs> to happen. I know. But no, I did train. I had I had a lot of sparring sessions. Whenever we were doing the fucking caveman shit, we were debating on whether or not I could last a minute with Dave, and I'm like, no, that's a dumb fucking idea. No, I don't want to do that shit. I don't Plus, think you could last a minute with me, and I'm a gay. Oh, no, I would I would probably beat the piss out of you. I would love to do it. I'm dead serious. <laughs> so I think that's how we make money. <laughs> that's how we make money? <laughs> Pay-per-view. You got such a fucking reach on me, though, but I don't think I would want to stand. I don't, I don't want to stand and trade. I would want to get on the ground. I, I don't think JP nah, nah, wants nah. to stand with you either. Me either. Wants to I want to get right in <laughs> yeah. on the ground, buddy. Don't you worry about that. I promise you I'll win. The minute I stick my tongue in your butt hole. <laughs> Tapping out. You're tapping I'm out. I'm tapping out. out. See? Exactly. No, Match hadn't even started yet. 100% yet. correct. You're so right. My oil would get so checked, <laughs> and that would not be a fun time. Ah, oh, Lord. Yeah. That's so terrible. Uh, speaking of your oil getting checked, I saw a TikTok oh, no. of a motorcycle kid. He's motorcycle motocross. Pretty mm-hmm. good. Oh, sure. yeah. I saw uh, that shit, too. Dude, Ooh. he had a wreck with a dude while they were on, in a jump, mm-hmm. and when they landed, the dude's bike hit him. And his fucking uh, brake handle broke off in the dude's ass. <laughs> L- literally. Literally. <laughs> literally. Through the pants oh, into the ass. Into the ass. <laughs> One in a million shots. And broke <laughs> off. Oh, my yeah. God. It's, they got the, he's got the x-ray up there and everything. Dude. Oh, yeah. And then God. a picture of the handle after they took it out. <laughs> and fucking, it was fucking awesome. Oh, my God. Yeah, it was pretty funny. That would be painful Dude, as hell. That that should tell you right there you're doing something something, wrong. something wrong. wrong. God Did is you telling see? you maybe Did not mo- motorcycle riding might not be for you. <laughs> <laughs> maybe you should try something different. 
Yeah. All right. Anything else happened to you over the week that you liked? Went and played poker. Yeah, how'd that go? Saturday night went really good. Good. Yeah, won a bunch of money. That's awesome. That, Always see, a good thing. Well, paying for your rent, right? Well, I didn't win that much. Oh, but okay. I paid for probably half. More weed money. Oh, definitely. Okay, I just, oh, I, mean, I mean, that mean, just to clarify. I don't buy my weed. You don't? If I had to buy my weed, I would never have any money. <laughs> really? Yeah, man. You just get it? Sure. Yeah, there, there's ways how to do Sure, man. You, you, want, you want to ask that question? <laughs> let, like, why don't you just yeah. let me incriminate myself right here <laughs> on, on YouTube? Yeah. I am not shocked. But anyway, uh, so that was your week. Yep. Okay. That was it, man. Absolutely every single detail. All right. You are welcome. Okay. Uh, I'm going to kick this episode off with uh, last week we talked about tornadoes and tornado sirens. And we did not know that a pretty bad tornado was going yeah. to ensue so sorry for jinxing all of you people i i was sitting here talking about how there was a dude that like has an imax camera that's been trying to drive into a fucking tornado for like 15 years and still can't do it and then a tornado decides to take out a small town so uh, sorry Good job. sorry about that it um, probably is your fault did not mean to jinx it but when in doubt blame scotty that's that's always uh good stuff uh but let me tell you something first thing i'm gonna say is is um at least off camera, all of us are very good friends. Even as much shit as we talk about Derek, uh, I got a text message from Derek over this weekend. First of all, that doesn't happen very often, but he sends me a picture of a signed baseball that uh, he knew that I would really, really want and said, hey, I'm in the area of this guy selling this ball. Do you want it? And I'm like, how much? He tells me how much. I say, absolutely. fucking lutely He immediately thought of me. There was a guy selling a Tony Gwynn signed baseball. And he fucking picked it up for me. How fucking oh, nice of a guy nice. is that? Who the fuck's Who, Tony Gwynn? Who's Tony Gwynn? <laughs> he's like he's arguably the best hitter of all time. Well, arguably is right because nobody Fred fucking I, knows. We don't know who he he's, is. He's my favorite baseball player of all play, time. Who did he play for? San Diego Padres. Hmm. No one right now. He's, he's, <laughs> he's Mr. He's he's Mr. Padres. Win like back in the eighties. Uh, eighties, nineties. Yeah, when early. they were really good. Really With good. Tony no, Gwynn. He of was the team. Yeah. He yeah. was the fucking team. Apparently. Yeah, but seriously, one of the best. <laughs> best hitters of all time of all and my time. and my favorite player so For and he sure. sadly passed away in 2014 oh. so he doesn't sign anything anymore Were so, you sure well, have you asked? asked pretty sure have you asked i mean pretty positive you should at least ask i kind of should have i bet but um i'm i'm on one today i am so very did you angry. get the ball yeah uh derek was uh, going to bring it by today but um he something came up and so he's going to bring it by uh next week when i think he's on the show cool so we'll have it then. i but bet thanks, you anything derek i bet you anything derek signed it and yeah, taking his fucking money yeah, yeah, I wasn't he's like, anything. watch this dumbass i wasn't gonna <laughs> say anything but i guarantee it's not legit i would definitely get a check <laughs> if it didn't come with the certification i would totally not put it past Derek. Oh, yeah. 100%. certifications are hard to fake yeah, yeah no kidding uh but anyways so yes uh this is a very Paper rare or paperwork's really hard to fake. yeah really hard. uh this is a very rare monday recording so uh if anything happens on uh tuesday, tuesday. <laughs> so sorry we didn't bring it up or but Monday um tonight if the world goes to <laughs> shit i uh i i am on one i am i have been on in like a fucking rant mode yeah for the man, last. let's do it okay well i was gonna do one i'm, I'm gonna do the first one and if we have enough time i'll do that we one. have all the time we need this is true uh, so uh, those of you guys who don't know, I, obviously I work at a dealership in the service department and every once in a while I get asked to do the, their podcast. They have like a service department podcast that they bring me on, yeah. you know, for, for street cred. <laughs> I'm sure asshole. there's a million <laughs> listeners of that. Jesus there's Christ. Quite a, quite a few. Fucking, can I get a couple yeah. copies of that? Yeah. Is that I'm going to have my white noise machine play. Right. That's but what it's, I'm thinking. It's, it's so different. Obviously it's <laughs> one, it's a hundred percent clean and it's with my boss and, and my boss is an excellent manager. There's cool. just one thing that he's no not phil i'm on i'm on there with phil a lot too but yeah. mainly it's my direct boss phil talks really fast phil is awesome but he is awesome uh, but anyways uh my other boss his name's josh uh like we give him a hard time behind his back saying the one thing that he sucks at is communication and on this podcast he looks at me and he goes he goes you know the most important thing in the service department communication, <laughs> communication. <laughs> you should see my fucking face looking right back at him i'm just like are you serious right yeah, yeah it's yeah. really it's really it works, important huh? it's really important fast forward six and a half hours on a saturday when we are already fucking closed i get a text message from guess who 
Josh. Josh. Oh. Oh, I thought it was the oh. baseball guy. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, I, get a, I get a text message from him, and he's like, hey, did we take back that Chevy to so-and-so's house? And I'm like, you told me to put it on the drive. You wanted to look at it. So I saw you sitting out there and look at it. And then I saw one of our drivers get in it. I thought they took it. He's like, no, they didn't take it. I'm like, huh, okay. So what do you want me to do? And he's like, well, I just wanted to see if you knew anything about it. I go, okay, I'm legitimately very close to the dealership. So I get into my truck, go over there. It's at 630 by this time. The dealership closes at 4 p.m., but they're still trying to get a car sold. So there's people there. Go through the keys, find the fucking truck. Then I proceed to deliver said truck to Clearwater, Kansas on a Saturday when I'm not supposed to be there. Everything goes okay, but I text my boss and I say, hey, Eagle has landed, uh, vehicle's been delivered. My wife was the one who followed me to Clearwater to get the thing delivered, and I wanted so badly to go, yeah, communication, it's really fucking important, but I fucking didn't. I didn't, I didn't want to step on anybody's toes, and so all of that, but God damn it, communication's fucking important, okay? It really fucking drove me nuts. I'm a little bit upset well, about it. You- should have figured out where they drove the truck to. You're the one that saw them drive off in it. You should have known they didn't drive it to fucking Clearwater when they come walking back in three it's, minutes later. It's not like I fucking went out and followed them, JP. Well, it's just I, they went the direction of going that direction. They so, must be going there, and then you see him three minutes later. Did you really think that he got to Clearwater and back in three minutes? I have five drivers. I can't keep track of you all of them. You need to. I okay. probably do, but all right. it's not my job. I think they job. should get somebody else. Yeah. Okay, thanks, man. You know what I mean? I feel like I could do it. Right, I think both of us could. I think really Fred easy. could do it. <sighs> Fred? Uh, but, but anyway. Anyways. Um, anything else, man? Please. Yeah. I know there's more. There is more. This is the one I was waiting for. So <laughs> let's hear it. A lot of people have heard about my my golf buddy Bob. Bob, uh, who I have not told, Bob is is a very close friend of mine. He is now moving to Ohio, and the main reason why he's moving to Ohio is because of a job. Uh, I had a I had a person ask me to go to the minor league uh, baseball games here in town, who Derek works for, and it's totally awesome that they he does that. He loves working there and everything like that. But uh, there was ESPN uh, last week showed the Wichita Turbo Tubs. They basically gave him a spot on Sports Center, showing off the jerseys and everything like that. Yeah, Bob's the one who created that fucking Turbo Tubs idea. One hundred percent, and the Wichita Wind Surge is still using it and trying to profit off of his idea. This dude legitimately moved from New Orleans to Wichita and put down roots, bought house, everything, moved his way up through the company. He and one other guy were the only two individuals that actually were still employed by the organization um, since the inception of this particular team. Uh, Bob then uh, had the most uh, profitable year, was the GM, had had the most profitable year as a GM for the Wichita Wind Surge. And you know what? You would think after that kind of shit, you would think, hey, promotion, maybe? You think promotion? Nope, they fucking fired him. They fired him right after he had a child, and it was completely surprising. It was for absolutely no reason, upending him and basically sending him inevitably to Ohio. And uh, I fucking lost my shit after I saw the Turbo Tubs thing because I thought they were going to deal away with it completely. Um, but, yeah, that was totally his idea. Why would they do that? It. ESPN wanted to cover it. Guess so. Uh, so it, I, I know that uh, a lot of people here are big, huge fans. I actually did the podcast for the Wind Surge there for a long time. I'm not doing it anymore, and no, I am not going to go to a single game. Fuck them. That's how I feel. That's so. okay. You still have the Mel Hamilton podcast. <laughs> right. <laughs> Back on, too. Exactly. Right. But, uh, but, yeah. Yeah, man, I get that. I get yeah. that, but, you know. So now he's going to be. So he got fired for nothing. He must have pissed someone off. He, huh? It was legitimately. It was it was a very stupid ass reason. There was no reason whatsoever. Yeah, he pissed somebody off. No, yeah. the team. The people team. People just don't fire people. The team was sold. The team was sold, and a very corporate company was the one who bought it, and they came in and basically cleaned house, and it was really fucked up. So mm-hmm. yeah, I get that, man. Yeah. So, uh, but that's that's my week. I I was going to go way off the rails, but I I'm calm. I've calmed down a little bit. But hmm. most importantly, Sounds we have. Like it's disappointing. I know. Uh, but this mo- is calm, by the way. <laughs> this is calm. Folks. This is me not losing my shit. Wow. But most importantly, I'm very excited to finally have back Fred. Me too. Fred has had. 
Fred has had probably the craziest. Did you see Fred's Jeep out front, man? Yeah, dude. My dick got hard the minute I pulled up. That's why I, I drove like, it, just for you. Fred's hot, and then now he's got, I know he's got that Jeep. It just fucking does it for me, dude. It just does. <laughs> got to make something look big in my life. So. Yeah, <laughs> overcompensate for something. <laughs> it's okay. But no, dude, you haven't been on the show for at least eight months. God, it's been a long time. It's been a, it's been long, a long fucking time. time, and I don't think a lot of people understand how. Like, whenever we say you were, you got engaged, you were getting married. Holy fuck, dude! There was a lot of shit. Oh yeah, and oh, I, oh yeah, I didn't give a whole lot of details on the wedding and everything. It was, it was a fucking amazing day. But then you basically were here two weeks after the wedding, and then went on the honeymoon. Yeah. So, so you got one week. Yeah. Take the take the fucking reins of the show, and you can just let everybody know how fucking insane that whole situation was. He just nailed it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Not much more to say, right, really. Right. But it's just going to change the tone of the ta- uh, podcast for a little bit. But yeah, uh, got married. Haven't been on here for so long because of. Getting all that stuff ready. You Putting know, had, that had to, to devote that much up. time into that. Yeah. And, I mean, uh, wife and I, we made it a fucking party. Yeah, you did. You know, throughout this whole process, we were like, you know, it's, we don't, it's not about us. It's about the party. It's about inviting yeah. our closest friends and family and having a great ass time. The wedding it so itself we did. was like 10 minutes long. Oh, if that. If yeah. that, I swear yeah. it was four minutes. Yeah. If that. That's awesome. Yeah. It was fucking Yeah, dumb. they walked out and we said four lines. Yeah. And done. <laughs> Fuck done sitting there in the heat hell no yeah so no, no we we pulled off a great uh quite a few surprises i you know i, I know scotty said uh, mentioned a couple of them but we had a a sasquatch costume mm-hmm. and we got the the band saxophone player to come out and lead us what is that the recession the i recession? don't even know i don't know walked us away from the altar yeah escorted us it was pretty dope mr and mrs so it was awesome they played <laughs> i don't know what the fucking song was that Oh, I have no idea. I can't remember very I much. I don't know, yeah. but it was a great one. Um, <laughs> and then they hung out backstage with us, whatever, for a while with pictures and whatnot. That saxophone player thought he was a fucking rock star after Oh, that. he was a rock star. He Throughout the whole night, it. he just kept putting that mask on and rocking out through the whole set. Yeah, he he, he, yeah, he, were, he wanted to keep it. Oh, he did. He did. <laughs> at the end of the night, he came up, he was like, so, uh, do you want this? And I was like, fuck yeah, I do. That was like 500 bucks. Hell yes, I want that. Halloween for the rest of my life. Right, like, yeah. Screw you. Absolutely. <laughs> But yeah, no, the band was great. The party was great. You had two tattoo artists yep. giving people tattoos. Yeah, getting some tattoos in there. Yeah, That's dude. pretty cool. It oh, was yeah. pretty dope. Yeah, I, got, I, got a, I got a Sasquatch. Oh, nice. Just because yeah. of that. Yeah. So, yeah. Right on. Fuck, yeah. No, the whole, th- the whole time we were like joking. It's like, man, should we get tattoos at this wedding? And me and my wife were, go- were kind of thinking about doing it, but we were thinking, okay, maybe like a maximum, like 12 people would want to get tattoos. Nope. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. 44. Yeah. yeah. Wow. 44. There's people we didn't think would ever get tattoos, wow. and they got their first tattoo. That's yeah. cool. Yeah. It was pretty dope. Did it was you pay by the tattoo or by no, the hour? No, we, we paid by the hour. Thank God. And as much as they could do in the, those right. four hours That's or whatever. That's cool, yeah. man. I like that. And we that. had preset, you know, like 15 right. designs, so you picked that. and That was it. It was awesome. a blast. It was pretty That's cool. That's cool, dude. Yeah. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. And then uh, of course we partied, got drunk, and just knowing the city we're in, I was like, it's a long ways to get food when you're drunk. Yeah. So we had a taco truck oh, set up in the parking yeah. lot afterwards, and it was just tacos or nachos. Walk up, you want two tacos or a ba- basket of nachos? Fucking both. Yeah. No <laughs> and shit. Walk back to the <laughs> hotel. <get> both. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> you know, so it was a blast. It you was know? a great it, time. I've had so many people. Like, in fact, we went back home this weekend, and there's very professional people in our lives, and. Of course, of course, they're older, and they came up to me in privacy, and they're like, that was the best fucking wedding I've ever been to. <laughs> that was a blast. Yeah. <laughs> like, it was a lot you know, of fun. They stayed longer because they were having so much fun. So that's cool. What that's, time did we close it down? And, I mean, we had to close at 11 Yeah, per, per the building, but, I mean, we partied right until 11. Yeah. It, you know? I, I just remember all of a sudden, all of a sudden, everybody was like, okay, we got to go, and I'm like, oh, fuck. Really? You know? Yeah. Yep. Really? So it yeah. was a good fucking time. And then you've been uh, you've been gone the last couple of weeks. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we uh, had the what five days off after the wedding, whatever. Yeah. I mean, not not off work, but oh yeah. Um, then we went on our honeymoon. We took a, a two week honeymoon. Uh, did a nine day cruise, uh, Mediterranean cruise. Mm-hmm. So we went over to Greece, Italy, Turkey, Spain. Um, shit. I mean, flew into Germany, flew out of Paris. I mean, we were fucking everywhere fucking and nuts beautiful countries beautiful countries beautiful people everyone was so nice 
Yeah. You know, and these islands are so different. You know, like Santorini and Mykonos, the typical Greek islands that you see in all the pictures, they're, they're, uh, fuck am i trying to say volcanoes yeah that's that's what they are is old yeah. volcanoes so they're built on top of these fucking ridges and it's either stairs up or a curvy bus ride up mm-hmm. and you're on top of this fucking volcano <laughs> looking out at the ocean with nice. nothing around dude he showed me you know? pictures of like the roadways there is a goddamn no. reason of oh, why, that's why I'm not shit kidding. no dude fuck that you, shit it's as wide as a bus and a fiat <laughs> yeah Fuck and that. I mean, it legit is a cliff. Yeah. And it just oh, yeah. S curves straight drops. up. Yeah. And that bus driver's going 40, 50, just like, oh, yeah. I know how to do this. I've been doing it for 40 years. Yeah. Fuck, scared the shit out of me. When Clayton yeah. and I drive to New Mexico to go skiing every single year, and he, we're going through the mountain pass and up the mountains, Clayton scares the shit out of me. And he's telling me that this bus driver was scaring the shit out yeah. of him. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Man, fuck. Oh, that. yeah. So I would have been, oh, no. And that was just all over, you know that part of the country just they drive so different they don't people cut them off and they're just like okay there was room for your car good for you you got in there you know <laughs> they they do not care yeah. you He's know like, fuck and, you yeah exactly yeah. they're exactly. not gonna like me yeah there'd yeah. be there'd be a, enough room for a fucking fiat and that car would get in there and get out of the way the bus wouldn't have to stop or That's nothing nuts. and they're just like okay go for it wow yeah people on scooters Oh my God! So many scooters, so <laughs> many scooters. So you know, we stayed in Athens a couple of days and went to the Acropolis and saw the Parthenon and all that. Shit. Parthenon, Parthen. I can't remember Acropolis. <sighs> there's it's a Parth- Parthenon. There's two of them. Yeah, Parthenon and what's the one in Rome? Parthion. Uh, okay. Yeah. yeah the Pantheon. Parth- Pantheon. Yeah. 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 Whatever. There's an R in one of them, and and another one. Anyways, <laughs> um, it's so fucking crowded over there that ninety percent of them commute via moped yeah. oh yeah and they have the right of way and can cut traffic legally yeah, right. and like what he like just they just fucking zoom bro dude, yeah. zoom bro you're sitting there parked and here comes fucking five scooters right beside your mirror and they're just going you we gotta look make sure before you open your door oh yeah 100 percent if i can take someone out <laughs> i'd do that shit yeah. on purpose oh same <laughs> same fucking i wish the buses over there actually had like the push thing where the yeah, doors right. flap open right. oh, i'd be taking one of those fuckers out just <laughs> bam <coughs> That'd be awesome. But it was just, it's just a different world. It was so cool to see it. You know, it's first time out of the country for me. Yeah. So. Yeah. And then you came back and, and now is everything calmed down? Shit, no. Fuck Shit, no. no. You know, after that, we came home and had to work for five more days. And then, I mean, it, it's still calm. We had to go back home, um, annual family meetings, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, yeah, yeah. we're involved in a foundation and it was the annual meeting for that. So we were gone all weekend for that. Mm-hmm. You know, awesome cause, but it's just like, man, I'm ready to, I'd like to sit on my ass or golf. Yeah. And I, yeah. I can't yet. So, yeah. well, but it's been worth it. It's been totally fun. And you brought me home three boxes of, uh, of, uh, crown peach. Oh, so yeah. thank you for that. You're welcome. <laughs> I appreciate They're it. They're real. They're not fake. Like your signature. So. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, anything else, anything else you like got going on? Uh, no, no, we're ready. We're finally ready for summer. We're yeah. going to try and get some lake days. We've got, you know, my sister lives on a lake. Her brother lives close to a lake. Mm-hmm. <coughs> yeah. So we're going to get our boat out and get up there. <sighs> How are you going to pull the boat? Her, Her car. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. That's yeah, right. She's yeah, got that you, big old wagon. Oh, that's right. That's right. Oh, yeah. That's right. Are you guys half brothers? No. Step. 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 I was going to say... Fred's so good looking and you're so not. Fuck you. And Fred's so interesting and you're so not. <laughs> Fuck you. And thank you. Thank you. I just I'll want, take it. I'll I was take like, it. <laughs> something doesn't fucking like something doesn't make sense here for me. I'm, Clayton, how long have we been like like brothers? Like how long? Oh shit, they've been married 14, 15 years. No, I think it's more than that. I think they're in the twenties. No. Are you sure? I can't remember. But like I want to say you were thirteen you, and I was like eight or something no i don't think that's when they start dating for sure oh okay yeah they started right. dating for sure because i remember being young shooting but bb guns in the house we've been yeah yeah got, <laughs> got grounded for we shot <laughs> bb guns in the house and ate all the sprees and yeah. they're like you didn't eat the pizza <laughs> no no nope. we were no fucking sugar high throughout the whole fucking day uh but not but like basically we've been we've been best friends since i was really really young so i've grown up yeah. around him do you ever time. do you ever think to yourself thank god i'm not a german Yes. Like, like, yeah. 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 I would yeah. too, man. Yeah. It, yeah. I get That's it. cool. I just needed to know. Thanks, man. <laughs> That's cool. It. You guys are so nice. <laughs> Carry on. Uh, you got any shows that you that you've been trying to watch or that you're excited for? There, Fred. Uh, the main show right now is the House of Dragons two. 
Oh, that's kind of what? It's in six days or something like that. 16th, oh, I no think. Oh, no shit. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, but it'll be a week by week, of course. Fuck. So, they but need of course, to I'll do stop it. Stop doing that shit. I know, stop. but. Gives it's, you something to look forward to. I mean, no, fuck do you, you. Do you want to put out a show every day? Uh, I mean, I would if I got paid as much as they got paid. Wouldn't you? I would if I got paid at, at all. all. <laughs> <laughs> no, absolutely, I, mean, I would. I'd take a five spot at this point. <laughs> See, I'm waiting. I'm waiting for the the new season of uh, uh, the Lord of the Rings series that's out, or that's going to come out uh, like later half of 2024. Yeah, yeah. fucking yeah. Nerd. I don't give a shit. I don't care. I like Lord of the Rings. Lord of cool, the Rings dude. is I ten like times ten times better than Star Wars. Get fucked. Oh, I can't disagree with that either. Okay. I don't like Star Wars either. <laughs> yeah, and, and and Star Wars is pretty much killing itself as we speak so correct yeah, fuck that uh so I wish I, you'd be more like star wars <laughs> <laughs> thanks man appreciate that you're, you're welcome uh no that's what i'm looking forward to I, I i want that series to come out like yesterday but i don't know how they're going to be able to make it as cool as they did on the last one and that was a week by week release too yeah. Yeah. and me and my wife really got into it and then ran into a brick wall and same shit happened with you yeah. and sugar. It's like, God damn it. Yep. Just let them all release. So anyway, uh, but anybody got anything else? Any, anything at all? Uh, Tucker Carlson's coming to town. I thought you'd be excited about that. I like, I like him. I, I like know him. you I'm do. Sorry. That's why I, I like thought him. you'd be excited. You're not going. I'm not I'm going. I tell you, you are. <laughs> I'm going. Okay. Fred's going. I'll, fuck. I'll go. I mean, cool. Doesn't mean he's my favorite person, but I agree. Yeah. I want to see him. I just like, like, just like I wanted to see Pauly Shore when he came. Yeah. Uh, like, Here's that was disappointing. Oh, that's it? what I heard. I, I couldn't I make know. it, but oh, really, you know, I just imagine I didn't hear. I like I heard it was. I, I like people all over the spectrums. Uh, okay, I, I genuinely like people that are all not the <laughs> not the autistic <laughs> spectrum. You piece of shit. I'm talking hey, political. Get what spectrum. you can get, bro. Right. Get what you can get. Somebody may or may not have created a new p uh, Twitter page for himself uh, so I could have a, some kind of a political release that I'm not going to drop on this. You just have to find oh, it. God. Oh, God. I would. Yeah. Oh, I fuck. bet it's like butt fucked Patriot or something. Yeah, something, yeah it's got to be. <laughs> fucking something You're really not cool. far off i'm not gonna lie but i do i have a, i have a oh, very get fucked patriot That's <laughs> it. oh i met a guy i met a guy at quick trip the other night that got arrested in the january 6th deal oh really no shit got, oh. Uh, he just got out good uh that he, he, that he, he pushed a he, cop. He pushed a cop down the stairs. God <laughs> oh, damn! And uh, he just yeah. kept, he just got out like wow. a week ago, and he came in, and I'm up at the the counter, or whatever, talking to the guy because I know him. And uh, the dude comes in, he's like, "Hey man, I just need twenty bucks and whatever." And he go, he goes, "How's it going tonight?" And he goes, "Well, I'm not in prison anymore, so that's good." And then he turns around and walks out. <laughs> and, then, and then my cool buddy, story, my bro. buddy looks at me and he goes, "Dude, he's for real too." Uh, <laughs> and then he told me his name, and I googled it. And he's like, <laughs> it was Jay Dude. Six, and it was yeah, it was the J. And I would love to talk to that guy. Cop down the yeah. How many FBI agents escorted you in through that motherfucker too? Crazy. Dude. Anyways, all right, let's move on. Let's get to some hot Scotty topics. Was there, you know. That when he was. I just wore a fucking mask, so they didn't yeah. know it was me. Yeah. Jesus. Plus, nobody really was, nobody could see him. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Just squeeze right through, squeeze everything. Right through everything. When you're yeah. my fucking height, you yeah, get away dude. with shit because you can't see over fucking tables. <laughs> so, anyways, let's get on to hot topics. And um, <laughs> I wanted to hear you say it again. <laughs> I know. You, that's why you did it. Just <laughs> I on, dig it. I man. know. I know. I love it too. Uh, but we're going to kick this off with something that I don't know if anybody gives a shit about, but I think it's absolutely <laughs> hilarious. Um, the United States apparently is good at cricket now. Did you hear about this? Nope. Nope. Still don't care. <laughs> I, I, Good for you, though. Okay. All right. The only reason why I know about this is because it blew up my fucking For You page on TikTok really? all day hmm. Saturday. I'm like, who the fucking gives a shit about cricket? And I started watching some of them, and uh, apparently <laughs> Pakistan... We upset Pakistan, and, they, and this this is like the World Cup of fucking cricket. And Pakistan okay. is supposed to be one of the top cricket teams in the world, which kind of would make sense. Yeah, and uh, the United States have legitimately have had like a cricket team for like six fucking months, and they just threw it together. And it looks like they're a bunch of guys that are just like they need a beer in their hand, and they're they're just wanting the fucking barbecue and have 
fun playing a bullshit game of cricket. But the way that they end up beating Pakistan is the most American fucking way ever. They were just dropping nukes on this fucking team. It was just the most... I, I can't I can't tell you how much we don't give a shit about cricket, but if we did, we would be the best at that too. That's cool, just, man. That's just the most United States of America <laughs> thanks, thing. Thanks anyway. for throwing that in there. Yeah, hey, I wanted to talk about it because I don't know if we're allowed to say dropping nukes on Pakistan. <laughs> right. I mean, that was quite the uh, it's, yeah. It's going to turn into that whole tornado thing. Now. Yeah, that's true. Fucking. That's true. No, they were hitting ball. They were hitting the cricket ball out of the fucking stadium. The whole time you were do you were doing that story, I was just thinking how different our algorithm on TikTok <laughs> because you're seeing cricket matches. I'm seeing pretty much just half-naked dudes. Uh, well, yeah, that's uh, interesting. Well, I don't want any of that. And right. so, no, I get uh, it. Yeah, that's how that works. Cool. It's about the same. Swinging, uh, swinging bats around. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Uh, there was also a shitload of you out there that sent us the same video, and it was a girl who was <laughs> almost passing out after a vigorous performance Man, during oh, a hobby horse tough. event. So I'm so glad this topic came up today. Yeah. So when we were on our honeymoon, we were on one beach, and I'm pretty sure it was Barcelona, and there was a family, and the daughter was, it it wasn't quite hobby horse. It was the other one where she was on all fours, you uh, know. She was the she horse. She was the horse oh, no. all over the beach and like jumping over sandcastles and shit. And I was like, holy fuck! I wish I had my phone to film this for Scotty. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> she was just going to town. I was like. Wow, oh. this is this is actually a real thing, huh? Yeah, yeah. fuck. Yeah. We, are, I mean, kids these days are made out of fucking tissue paper. This is absolutely fucking ridiculous. Well, you want to be a horse? Get, you can be a horse. Oh, okay. they, they get drafted as a war horse, or yeah, oh, right. yeah. Okay. That <laughs> yeah. carry my ass into battle. <laughs> Sorry, oh. bitch, you gotta go. You've been drafted. <laughs> I. If you want to be a horse? This is what this you is get. What you get? Oh, the, it, it is so ridiculous. <laughs> this this fucking kid, and I I don't even know how old she is or whatever, but she had to have been at least thirteen maybe 14 years old in this video of where she's like acting like she's almost going to pass out and then it shows the performance that she gave and it's like not even running she's fucking putting on like a prancing it's expedition trotting. bull fucking shit I'm so tired of this this is absolutely fucking it's ridiculous called dressage Scotty. Jesus Christ this is the most worthless fucking thing. It's like You're handcuff- so uncultured. It's like handcuffing a one-armed man like what the fuck it doesn't mean anything it's not going to do anything for I've you this that. is ridiculous she God. Probably, she's probably getting paid more than I am. <laughs> probably. <laughs> fuck yeah, she is. Getting a fucking ribbon and so putting it on your, damn horse. your stupid ass hobby horse. It, God damn it. It's so fucking ridiculous. But anyways, uh, you got anything that you want to add to this, JP? Nope. Are you sure? Yep. Okay, that's fine. Uh, Caitlin Clark is killing it in the WNBA, but apparently not getting selected to play for the Team USA for the Olympics. Did you see that? Why? I did just hear that. Um, because... She's really fucking good, and and they don't want her to be on the team. Be, I don't fucking know. It doesn't make any fucking sense. I mean, there's one word, but I don't yeah. know if I'm going to say it. Yeah, I agree with you. They don't want her because she's a white chick that everybody exactly. loves. That's what yeah, it is. Exactly. I don't remember her fucking name on ESPN, but she is an absolute joke. She's just a race-baiting little shit. Uh, Janelle or J- whatever her name is. But this is fucking ridiculous. Caitlin Clark is doing very well in the WNBA, and everybody fucking hates her. And everybody wants to go see her, though, because that's what, like, Mm. all of the games are getting sold out are her games. Everybody else, Mm -hmm. fuck off. Like, no, this is what they wanted, and they didn't do it. So, whatever. Uh, But I say we fucking... Yeah, because we don't Protest the Olympics. Who the fuck's going to watch women's basketball now? (laughs) Nobody. Nobody. Uh, Nobody. Yeah, exactly. I wasn't going to before. Exactly. To be honest. honest. But I want I want to bring this up because we mentioned it last week and and JP called or he was rooting for the Edmonton Oilers to win the Stanley Cup Finals. Of course, and that's exactly why Florida will win. Florida's going to win. What are they up to? 2-0 right now. So good on them. And they look like they can't lose. Yeah, and the other thing was was they had the Oilers had a very very excellent fan who decided to show her titties. Yeah. And so the Florida fan base oh, yeah, they found, found their own, <laughs> and she put her tits up against the glass. She did. She did. Just like we were talking about putting her penises up <laughs> against the glass. I think maybe she heard the episode, she and she's like, it. that's a fucking brilliant <laughs> she idea. She heard the episode and was like, man, yep, that guaranteed. sounds like a good idea. I want to go viral. So she did. And I, I don't know. I still think the Edmonton chicks' tits were nicer. Yeah. 
But it's, her I mean, first of it, it looked like she's getting a mammogram. She looked like <laughs> whatever that is. <laughs> like in, that's but, not pretty. That's not sexy. But I just think, you know, it's warmer down in Florida, so they're a little bit yeah. floppier. Okay. When it's up in Canada, it's really yeah. fucking cold, and yeah. so they're harder. So okay. you know what I mean? We that's what you. I'm thinking. But uh, I'm now cool. officially rooting for the Florida Panthers because fuck Canada, and that's how I really feel. There you go. Um, but yeah, go, go Panthers. Uh, and the last thing I wanted to bring up, which I thought was absolutely hilarious, got a whole bunch of people sending us messages about this. Uh, Birmingham Southern was a private liberal arts school located in Birmingham, Alabama. You think there's really a bunch of people sending him, or is, he, is it just Derek? Dude, no, they sent no. These are actual listeners that are just like sending me videos of shit. Hey, watch this. That you should bring this up on the episode every fucking week. And this was actually a cool story. This Birmingham Southern is like a Division three school. They. Um, their actual school fucking closed down before they went to the college world series and they ended up making a GoFundMe so they could have the funds to go to the world series. They didn't end up winning, but they made it pretty fucking far, but they were like, they were still a baseball team during the world series and they didn't have a fucking school. Like that's pretty fucking cool. It's really sad that their school closed down, but eh, I thought that would be, I don't know. I thought that was interesting. Do you ever go to the NBC World Series? Fuck yeah. I'm not. So have they been having it at X Stadium this whole time? Yeah, they've been having it at Wichita State. Why don't they fucking have it at the the, the fucking new stadium? I don't know. Maybe they should ask the fucking organization for the Wichita Wind Surge why they can't figure out scheduling for that shit. Oh, okay. I don't know. I know a guy that was trying to figure out a way to do that. Way to open that can, JP. Yeah, way to go, JP. I did it on purpose. (laughs) I know you did. I was like, oh, this is a good fucking segue (laughs) right here. Let's piss him off again. Yeah, NBC World Series is like one of the most popular things that happens in They're Wichita, Kansas baseball around every the clock single year. Again this year. They should. You want to do it with me? What? Go. We should do it. Go? Yeah. Fuck yeah, I'll go. It's at Wichita State. 30, it, 33 hours or something. Is it at Wichita State? Mm-hmm. Okay. Get, yeah. yeah. Yeah, then absolutely I will. All right. If it's at fucking uh, Riverfront Stadium, they can suck my dick. Uh, oh, I mean, I could do that <laughs> at, at X Stadium. At both just ways, saying, so. uh, I'll do it on the way to the stadium if you want. No, but it's like, it, yeah, it's like 33 hours straight of baseball. So there will be a baseball game at 2 o'clock in the fucking morning. Uh, down to, uh, sounds pretty fucking boring. On, yeah. uh, no, not really, especially at Wichita State. You can bring your own alcohol out to the outfield hill, so that's going to oh, be. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, you can get good and drunk for free. It's yeah. nice. And try to stay up 33 hours. Well, I'm not going to. <laughs> yeah dude that's no, the point not, no, bro i'm not going to do that yeah no why i'll go and then i'll No, leave. we're gonna fucking Just we're gonna do the whole fucking thing dude we're gonna get the t-shirt at the end we're fucking ambient. doing it you give me ambient i'm gonna pass the fuck out oh, i'm gonna oh, give no. you i'm gonna give oh, you a no. pill but it's not gonna be <laughs> ambient. I don't, what like fucking cocaine <laughs> roofies oh god no i'll get your punch card punched for you uh no thank you i'm you. out anyways you got anything else you got you want to mm. talk about for this whole shit Okay, very good. Way to go. Uh, but now we get to move on to Never Have I Ever, guys. Thank you guys so much for participating in Monday Fun Day. It was actually a lot of fun because I totally forgot to post it on Friday again. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, Here's because, I, I, well, because I, I didn't know if Clayton or Fred was going to be able to be on the episode, and I had an idea for posting it, which was his wedding picture, and uh, I totally forgot to reach out to you until Saturday. So You're good. It is what it is. Uh, but anyways, thanks for participating in that. Uh, let's move on to Never Have I Ever, and I like these, these this week. First one comes in from Braxton Lint, and he wants to know, Never Have I Ever Fucked an Ex's Best Friend. You have. I know. You've already said it. You've told us. I beg your pardon. <laughs> I'm not that kind of man. What do you think of me? Oh, I've definitely done it. <laughs> I've also had my ex fuck his best friend. <laughs> okay, that's so. Good. I mean, there's this a whole ran. This is a whole fucking yeah. I've done it. Gay guys are weird. Like it's just I don't know. I don't. I think there's less rules for you guys. Am I right? Less less rules. Rules. Yeah. No. Well, like like gentlemen rules. Like no. Like hey, dude, I broke up with that chick. She's off limits for your entire group of friends. There are fewer of us gays. So, <laughs> so if we don't throw them back, exactly. if you just reel them in and catch them and tag them, we're going to run out. You got to fucking reel them in, play with them for a while, and then fucking Send toss them back, them back so them that somebody else bit. can catch them. Uh, <laughs> because otherwise, you just run out. Uh no yes well no i mean i I get it for you but for us straights 
Uh, a straight. <laughs> a straight. A straight. No, we don't fucking do that shit. I, I, I never tried to fuck my ex's best friend. God damn it. That's a lie. Yeah, I feel like you might have tried, and then <laughs> he was she tr- just said yeah. no. I haven't done it in a very, very long time. Okay, that I believe. Son of a bitch. And it wasn't a best friend. It was a cousin. You I fucked forget. your cousin? No, I fucked my That's ex- what I heard. Girl- I fucked my ex-girlfriend's cousin. Was she 19? <laughs> uh, <laughs> sure wasn't Mike's cousin? Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Okay. Uh, at least I think so. But you got to remember, this was also like fucking almost 20 years ago, I think. How old am I now? No, it was like it was like 16 years ago. But yeah, I guess I have done that. Okay. How about you there, Fred? I mean, all I can say is college was fun. Yeah. Yeah, oh yeah. Well, I mean, and you also went to a small school in like Oklahoma. The 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 pond is not very deep. The pond wasn't very deep. Yeah. But it was a fun pond. You can walk all <laughs> the way across it. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Uh yeah. But college was fun. You want to expand on that at all there, Clayton? Uh no. My <laughs> wife listens, so <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Damn but it. we didn't know her at the time. No, exactly. You yeah. know, we we we've had that talk for you. Yeah, it's in the past. Well, yeah, that's the other. There's thing. There's just still certain things people don't want to hear. When you're young, you're stupid. It happens. Uh, so yeah. So how young are you? I'm uh, still young. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you are. I'm still, I still have the young mindset. That's Pop me. that hat off for me, real, no. <laughs> real quick. I, what you want to see my gray fucking, hair? Got yeah. the fucking wedding we'll see photos all those back. Grays, I got buddy. some grays. Yeah, in there, I know you man. do. That sucks. Uh, next one comes in from Brandon Strong. He wants to know, never have I ever used a sex toy during sex to pleasure yourself. God damn it, JP. During sex or to pleasure yourself. No, it says during sex. Oh, or, or to pleasure yourself. Oh, okay. Well, JP has done it while having sex. I guarantee it. Yep. <laughs> you haven't? Uh, have you not? No. Dude, you are you, such a All douche. right, we're going to have to cancel the end of this episode. <laughs> oh let Scotty get out of here. No. Yeah, man. No. Can we get someone else? No. That, is it too late? Oh, uh, no. Um, I, listen. Really? Well, hold on, hold on. Do, do handcuffs count as a toy? Sure. No, I, I think don't. so. Oh, well, yeah, they if do. If it's, if okay. it's anything that's not yeah, human. Yeah, they do. Yeah, That's they a toy, right? Count. Yeah, yeah they okay, definitely well, count. The, yeah, Some but, neckties and no, no neckties are fucking fun. Dude. No, I'm, I'd never. You, done that. I could just see you. <laughs> you just lay oh, on a that? bed and go, okay, honey. What's that? Fucking get it? No TikTok. Uh uh-uh. uh uh-uh. uh-uh. That's okay. not how it is. Okay, JP, let's let's do the math together. Okay, let's do the math. Me and my wife have been together for 14 years. I am not not wealthy, and I'm not good looking. What do you think I'm fucking good at? Using sex toys. (laughs) That's what we would hope. You better be. You better learn. I am good at laying fucking pipe, dog. I don't know, That's That's the truth. I don't like to think about that. I mean, I know someone that can find out for us tonight. Yeah. He's right here. That's true. (laughs) I mean... (laughs) Let's just I, solve this issue for I the fans. Like, just don't I feel like it's the way. wrong size pipe. <laughs> <laughs> I, feel like, I feel like it'll just fucking, yeah, I don't know about all this. No, Hold on. I don't need toys. I, I, you don't, it's nobody not that, needs, nobody needs, them. needs them. I don't I have them. a toy. I do too. I have my wife. Uh, That's the toy that I get. Wow. You're you real. just called your wife a toy. Well, yeah, yeah she kind of is, you know. <laughs> she's a fuck toy. I mean, you ever well, asked her if she wanted toys? She's yeah. my best. Yeah. You care about her passions? Yeah, yeah. well, no, I said, I mean, that's... that's. It's the best. For, you fucking for, get her up there, get her, her all hot and heavy. And but then, not for me. Then handcuff her to the bed and fucking leave. Yeah. You can oh, do whatever yeah. the fuck you want. Yeah, that's Go good. play golf. Yeah. yeah. I can go play Scotty golf. Scotty does that anyway. Jesus Christ, my wife would be so fucking pissed. If, if I just you just left her handcuffed just to the bed. Just left her handcuffed. What if you called three other dudes to come fucking turn her out uh, while you were playing the no. playing around the golf? No, I then, no. no. Oh, okay. No, I can't right. do that. Right, just done. two then. I've done that before too. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Oh uh, Lord! What was the? Oh, I can't remember the college name we did. I mean, I don't. I'm not saying I did this, but it was the <laughs> the, the stranger the the tag in or whatever. Oh, yeah. yeah. Keep the lights off and oh, just yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, on to the yeah. next one. Yeah. No, you fucking crazy oh, ass people. Man. I'm not saying I did that. I'm just saying I heard of it in college. I'm, I'm not saying it. I'm a fucking prude, but I'm not a maniac either. Wow. I'm not saying your I'm wife, a maniac. Your wife is a lucky lady. She is lucky. I know that. She is lucky. 
So yeah, and we're celebrating ten years of van- or, or of, of being married in like a couple months. Yeah, so, it's almost you. over. It's yeah, right, we know what to buy him for. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, yeah, a fucking good divorce attorney. <laughs> she's about sick of his <laughs> shit. Oh lord, ten uh, years is where it's at, man. I'm telling uh, you, uh, if you uh, can no. get past, between ten and eleven, that's where it's going to happen. If it's going to happen between like us three and everybody who listens to the thousands of people that listen to this show, we're kind of talking about maybe having a kid. Maybe. Well, please don't. Could you imagine me being I a could. kid? I oh, could. Can you please not? Oh, being a dad? I'm break. Remind me of that so I can talk to her. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That'd be a great dad. Uh, I think he would be a good dad. I'd, I'd have yeah. a lot of fun. I think we would too. I finally the one that convinced him to do it because yeah. I'm going to hurt. Yeah. We're going to have kids. I'm yeah. surprised. And he's like, that. okay. I'm surprised you haven't yet as much as you love kids. I. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, thanks, JP. Yeah, Appreciate that. No, it, it, it I, I, I'll never change a diaper. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck. I don't give a fuck if it is my kid. That's my wife's job. Yeah, yeah what the fuck? I'm that, just dad. That, that's exactly right. How dude, did you guess? You're gonna be a great dad. <laughs> <laughs> For real. I know I will be. You're right. Okay. I guarantee you. I will you change think a, a kid's gonna diaper. bring you closer together, and it is not. <laughs> It is going to give her something to run away with and still have her emotional attachment. Yeah, exactly. And then she's fucking out of here. Maybe you, that's what she's waiting on. Can you imagine my wife being pregnant, though? She'd be a pretty pregnant chick. I didn't like, say she would be pretty. Oh, my God. The mood swings would be off the charts. If she's be, not moody. It'd be just like yours. She's yeah, you're right. She's whenever I'm around. Just, yeah. She's she's polite in yeah, public really to nice. other, other people. I oh, like her a lot. Dear. A lot more than you. That's why you God. handcuff her to the bed. That's it? that's right. Yeah. Just just be pregnant at home. Okay. Okay, fine. Uh last one comes in from Nolo Cinco. He wants to he wants to know, never have I ever thought of a whole scenario about robbing a bank and how long you thought you would make <laughs> it before getting caught. <laughs> Figure it'd be a decent question since Derek, who has bank experience, won't be here. It's a great question. I am and, thinking uh, about robbing Derek's bank. Yeah, because there's no way he's going to catch us. No way. No what, way. Was he going to try to fucking chase us? No. Get the fuck out of here. Dude, he'll be under his desk so fast. <laughs> It wouldn't even be funny, dude. Are you kidding me? There was that a motherfucker guy. would be like, go. I, I believe he'd run out the back door. Oh, if well, he could. yeah, absolutely. Dude, yeah. there was a fucking guy smoking black tar heroin in his bathroom. fucking bathroom. He's oblivious to whatever's yeah, going on. Man. But I think that if we all three of us teamed up and 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 robbed that bitch, I think it would be the easiest thing in the world. To rob. You know what I'm going to do? What? Since you just said that, I'm going to find two other guys. <laughs> <laughs> one that's about your size, one that's no, about no, friend, no, about fucking no, friend no. size. I weighed in on this. Don't blame me. On that shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, but how long do you think? How long do you think we would we would get? You wouldn't. You don't think not you anymore, would? man. No, oh, no. This, this ain't a stagecoach. Yeah, yeah, and that's the other thing. You know. Most banks, especially most banks that like the size of what Derek works at, they probably have a total of like five grand at this. Bitch. But dude, banks get robbed around here all the time. Do they, they really? Yes. Oh I yeah. Did, I didn't all know that. the time. All the time. I never even hear about yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. Because they don't catch them. <laughs> <laughs> they just let no, them go. I, I assume that they catch them. I'm guessing. Oh, I yeah. don't, I don't see how you couldn't. Yeah. I mean, there's so many ca- dude everybody's got a goddamn ring doorbell camera or fucking, that's true dude there's cameras everywhere everywhere you can track the car from fucking or yeah a, a person or whatever oh, yeah. you want from a everything good different, oh yeah but oh, the yeah. other thing is the dumbasses that are are dumb enough to go and rob the banks aren't like covering themselves up or doing anything they're just fucking out in the open like without a mask on it's like they're yeah. they're idiots that's the other thing the dumb dumb criminals that's what we have nowadays yeah. so anyways well ladies and gentlemen that is never have i ever now we can move on to that's where i draw the line which is jp's favorite part of every single episode and i like some of these uh we're gonna kick this off with roger colton he wants to know at what point would you allow any woman to drive your car? Never. Not <laughs> Never? if you don't want it. If you want it wrecked, I guess let her have it. You know what I mean? If you want your car to be fucked up, fuck it. Let her take it for a whirl. I, uh, I'm, I, I'm kind of the same way. My wife, it's not that she's a bad driver. It's just that she's worse than I am. 
And the only time that my wife is going to be allowed to drive my truck, it's when I'm fucked up. And I and she is the sober one. Because if I had a wife, quite a bit, yeah, or a girlfriend, and they wanted to drive my car, the keys are right there. I mean, are you you're serious? You don't you won't let your wife drive your. You truck? don't let anybody drive his truck. I don't like anybody. You don't let me drive his truck. He's a I let you weirdo man. barely. Yeah, if I if I'm yeah if, if there's a reason for you to drive That's it. That's so weird. I don't even like driving other people's vehicles. Particular. If your wife was like, "Hey, I want to take the jeep to the store real quick," go for it. Yeah, yeah, you guys are more like that. I'm, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm not. And, I yeah, just if, if I'm I, in a the car, there's a there's a rule when I'm in the car is if I'm driving or you're driving, if I'm gonna become a vegetable, you better make, make sure this wreck kills me. Yeah, yeah. Right, so right. if you, you see it's gonna hurt, well. just throttle. And fuck <laughs> it, we're done. Yeah. Say I love yeah. you and throttle. There's no stop. Help me. No, we're yeah, done. We're done. <laughs> done. I am not gonna be a vegetable. See we, that fucking ocean over there? Swerve off the bridge yeah. and run into there. Yeah, yeah. forget about it. Forget I got a better chance it. swimming out of this yeah. than whiskey throttle that motherfucker. Yeah, so, yeah. I uh, no, it, I'm the same. Like dad, dad was up here uh, last weekend, right? Mm-hmm. And he he got the he Bringing got the, cor- the whole, he, he brought I the Corvette. Oh yeah, again. Yeah, Ooh. he brought he brought the Corvette, and he was he just threw me the keys. He's like, "You want to drive the vet?" I'm like, "No, I don't want it. It's not mine." And that's kind of the same thing. I don't Weird. want. I don't want to drive somebody else's nice vehicle and accidentally fuck it up. I don't want to do that's that. Why I have insurance. That's why everybody's got insurance. Yeah. I get I mean, it. I don't. It's still a fucking headache and it's brain damage. And yeah, sure, no, dude. I'm just that. Uh, that's just the way You're that I weird, am. Dude. I am. I guess straight I, up weird dude. I, I guess I'm weird. Fuck it. That's I true. Straight up weird dude. Right. Straight up I'm weird. I drive any car any day. I know. Whenever the fuck I want. That's I work at a right. fucking dealership. I get like super nice cars. Like McLarens came in, come in and shit like that mm. all the fucking time. Name all, the time, all the time. All the time. Yeah. Well, all the don't time. Don't get a McLaren. They're, Apparently, they're pieces of shit. <laughs> no. No, they just, he, he had, I think he had like two of them at one point, and he would bring one in. He was uh, the attorney for the Salt Flats up in Hutchinson. Mm. And so he would bring all of his fucking supercars in, and I would have the opportunity to drive them, and I don't want to. I don't want to touch them. This, this $150,000 car, nope, I don't want to touch it. All day. Them. Yeah, I'm yeah. All day. I'd rub, him, my, rub my dick on it. Fuck yeah, I would. I would <laughs> grab that handle next naked. time. Fuck, fuck yeah. yeah. I would Smell fucking do to the gear leather. shift what that guy did with his motorcycle. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. By the time I was done with that thing, I'd have to be at the hospital getting the gear shift removed. <laughs> oh, that's gross. All right. Uh, next one comes in from Brandon Bullens. He wants to know. How early is too early to be in public? Like, how, how early is too early to be out in the in the ether? I think you fuckers, shit. you fuckers that get up and go run at four o'clock in the morning, you guys are pieces. My of neighbor, shit. dude, I was out there having a cigarette like at five thirty this morning, five o'clock, and uh, my neighbor, here he comes out his fucking door with his dogs and his fucking lights and fucking just starts jogging down the road and i'm no. like god damn i wish i was that motivated no <laughs> shit no i couldn't do it no but also i've been out already and it's been, like i didn't get home saturday night till like four thirty sunday morning yeah, but see, that's different. That's that's, different. that's not that's, that's that's not a new day. Yeah, right. that's, your day hasn't yeah. your, your day, day hasn't started. Yeah, so you're saying when I wake up and go out into public, yes, what's, what's I, I'd say nine. Uh, well, uh, okay, I'm I, I can for me nine is too early because I I think if you're in the fives, I usually yeah, if you're in the fives, that's too fucking early to go out in. I used public. to have a job. I have to get up at six in the morning, and I fucking didn't have that job very long. You're right. Yeah. I want a Couldn't six. I want a six thirty a.m. tea time. You know yeah, what I mean? Nah, but that, I but that, that, that is early as fuck. Yeah. It's still dark at that point. But yeah. like, if I'm not even kidding, if you get up and go fucking running at anything five a.m. five forty five five fifty nine, I don't give a shit. That's yeah. way too fucking early. Okay, Fred, about the same. Except you know that early for sure. But there's nothing like going to the grocery store at seven o'clock. That ain't no shit. Nobody's fucking there. That ain't no shit. So. Yeah, you know, when me and you, I and can I can get my ass up at three o'clock and go hunting or fishing, no problem. Sure, that's okay. And, and I don't consider that public. I don't either because there's animals out there, not people. That's people, right. so 
No, I agree with you 100%. Yeah. And the other thing is, is whenever we all become extremely fucking famous because of this podcast, <laughs> we... <laughs> Still Still, hey I, call, I called my banker yesterday. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, boy. But whenever that happens, we are going to be <laughs> fucking shopping uh, for groceries at 7 o'clock in the morning. Oh, fuck no, I'm going to hire someone to do that shit. <laughs> okay, right. <laughs> fucking or, do, or do that. That's I'll fine. Hire someone to run for me at 5.30. Yeah, fuck yeah. Put this GoPro cap- on and go run. <laughs> yeah. Go run for three miles and then come yeah, back. Come back and all uploaded right. is me. Yeah. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, that is that's where we draw the line. Thank you very much for participating in those. Now we get to move on to questions and preguntas, and we are going to kick this Pugunta bitch peas. right off with Travis Chrisman. He wants to know what do you call the female version of free balling? I mean, it's straight up parachuting. Loose, yeah, parachuting. I like that. <laughs> Loose lipping it. Loose lipping it. Yep, yeah, that's yeah, what that's I was going to go the with. Obvious one. Yep. Yep. Flap lapping. <laughs> yeah, flap lapping. <laughs> uh, that's a good one. Oh, Shit. Man. Uh, I'm trying to think of one that'll go with cunt. <laughs> I know. I <laughs> cunt flapping? Uh, yeah. I don't know. Fish funky or like funky fish. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what to go with that. But yeah, that's 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 good enough. When a dude flashes himself, they call it hanging brain. But what they call it when a woman does it, like... <laughs> I don't know. Showing and fish. <laughs> Sling and fish. Showing splits. I don't. Yeah, I don't okay. know. But yeah, that's that's that. Do, I, does that, Fred? Is that a turn on for you with chicks that don't wear underwear? It's something mean, different. I can't see it. So what's the matter? I don't. I think like, it's. I think it's weird, especially if it's like jeans. That is. I'd, yeah, that's jeans. weird. I'd say so in jeans. Yeah. 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 I don't know. I've never been but, in. I've never had my pussy in jeans before. So. Yeah, yeah, Scotty, what's it like? What is it like? <laughs> I don't know. You have to ask my wife. Uh, all right. Uh, next one, we'll move on to Jonathan Tovar. He wants to know, what is the brokest thing you have ever done? Can mm. you think? I mean, I mean, I think all of us have been poor at one point or another. JP yep, still at one, point, <laughs> at one point or another. Yeah. JP I was still real That's why poor. we're doing a podcast in a basement with our spare JP time. JP still huh? is. My phone got <laughs> shut off last month, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm just happy to have a phone that works. I get it. <laughs> really, I totally understand. Um, hmm. What's the brokest thing? Yeah, like I've what's ever the done? brokest moment? Whenever you're just like, Jesus Christ, that's um, that's broke as shit. I mean, I'm married for money, so yeah. No, <laughs> no, you didn't. No, I know you didn't. She's, yeah. she's awesome. She's too. awesome. Yeah. She she's is awesome. cool as yeah. shit. I mean, I remember I've stolen ramen before. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna I mean, say steal food. Yeah. maybe. I, but I didn't do that because I was broke. I just did that because I want to spend my money on drugs. <laughs> fuck no, You're having to. Uh, okay. uh, this is a true fucking story, and, yeah. and Clayton, Fred, you can you can um, v- verify this. Uh, there was. There was at one point in time that three guys that I lived with were so broke that we waited until the middle of Fuck fucking this guy. February Fuck this to guy. turn on the goddamn heat. Fuck really? this guy. Oh, yeah. yeah. And yeah. Clayton. First time he moved into this, he's like, come up and party, brother. I was like, bet. Cool. Come up there. <laughs> Mistake. He's like, you'll stay in this room. I was like, sweet. It's an actual <laughs> bed. It's not like a futon. Hell yeah. Two heat. space heaters, sweatshirts. Four blankets, froze my dick off. Wow. <laughs> froze my dick off. Fantastic. I was like, like, that space heater did fucking nothing. 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 This was, oh man, this house must have been built in like the late it was worthless. Eight, yeah. 1800s. But the thing. I, was, I told him, I said, I'm never coming back. Uh, and he never yeah. did. Yeah. But the thing was, is is that house was built on eight acres and our landlord said, we don't give a fuck. You can do whatever the hell you want. Oh, yeah. So that was that was whenever I was hanging out with a whole bunch of military guys and we were doing stupid, stupid shit. So yeah, that was probably the most broke I've ever been. How about you? Cool. Uh, any anybody else got any good stories like that? Not really. Oh fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh god, yeah, you're a fucking. I'm on pins and needles every yeah, time you every start time. talking. I mean, <laughs> like just, what's he gonna say next? <laughs> Go fuck yourself, man. Oh fine. Next, next. Okay. Uh, next one comes in from Jesse Petal. He wants to know Disney movie titles if Germany won World War II. Ooh. That's a pretty good one. It's a, it's a- das Rapunzel. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> 
I don't know. I thought of Allison Ashwitz. Allison and Ashwitz. Allison and Ashwitz. Would you good. watch that one? Uh, uh, for sure. sure, I would. Fucking. I don't know. Uh, uh, oh God, Aryan story. Yeah, I don't know. That's, I don't know. Uh, Hmm. God damn it. Have you seen that? I wish if I read these ahead of time because I could have come up with some. Oh, but. yeah, for All sure. All right, we'll take a quick TV timeout for you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No well, shit. I mean, it's too late. He didn't send me the questions. Otherwise, I would Oh, that's true. I didn't. I didn't this week. So yeah, but I'll, I never look at it. I know. So that's it why it's, it's fucking worthless anyways. Uh, I wish right. if I knew more German words, too. That, that was the help. hardest part. I know Wiener Schnitzel. Yeah, that's not right. a good movie title. No. Yeah, no. No, I get you. Uh, let's go. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. I got it. The Lion Fuhrer. The Lion Fuhrer. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a good, a good one. one. I like that. Shit. God damn. Look at you being funny. I know. I'm just, impressed. It just came I to am. me. It just came to I me. I like it. Bullshit. He studied one. that for a week. I, right. d- I really didn't. Okay. Uh, next one. It comes in from Ron Bingham. He wants to know, do you remember watching your for- your first porn? Do you remember watching your first porn? I can't remember what I had for dinner last fucking night. Dude, here's what I know. Was I it straight? I don't remember. I, I can actually remember watching my first porn. Was it straight or gay? It was straight. Okay. And the reason that I remember is because, dude, I didn't ever watch porn until I was well into high school. Oh, really? Yeah. And so my sophomore year, I my parents got divorced my freshman year. So my sophomore year, I went back to school and just pretty much didn't give a fuck and became the, one of the more popular people in school. Oh, and yeah, I believe and that. Went to all the fucking I parties, too. took everybody. My buddy was the door guy at the strip club, so I took all the like yeah. everybody to the strip club, and then I was the coolest fucking dude ever. Yeah, you still are. But uh, yeah, man. Um, so we had this Jason, my friend Jason, we'd have parties at his house, and he had this big screen TV, and we'd put porn on there, but we would turn Jason. this... We would no, we would we would turn the his the, name is the, Jason. We would turn the volume all the way down, and then we would have rolls. Like That's each one. so weird. Oh, and you, you would and we uh, just, dub over yeah, it for him. Yeah. Oh, yeah. baby, <laughs> <laughs> like fucking dude. Just I like baked beans straight fuck. out of the can. Yeah, <laughs> so that was pretty much the first time I saw porn. But that's funny. Like if you put the mute button on and you oh, try it was to, hilarious. that's absolutely oh, it was hilarious. Fucking, it was, that's fun. And we were fucking drunk, and it was well, great. for sure. But, but that's the first time I really ever watched porn. People that watch porn like with their friends, though, that's fucking weird. Unless you count the J C Penney's catalog. Well, sure. But that's not a video. That's, that's not, not a video. No. But I. That yeah, was earlier was than that. that. I, yeah. I, I, I've, I've heard like friends from high school. They would, they would actually like do that. They would go to like a party and like and at the party together. turn on porn. And I'm like, why would you I would like fucking to go to that do party. that? <laughs> they still no. have them. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so, JP. Yeah, maybe we've yeah. grown up a little bit since yeah. then. Nah, okay. barely. Maybe that's. I mean, that ties right in the story. I was thinking. I don't remember the first time I watched porn. There's no way I can remember that long ago. Yeah, but I remember. Uh, I was on a frat trip with a uh, carload of buddies. We headed up to Mizzou. They uh, got a new house, so we went up to party with them and break the house in. Yeah. And on the way home, of course, in Missouri, there's just adult stores fucking everywhere. Oh, yeah. So, oh, we, yeah. of course, we stopped in. Picked up a porn or picked two. Up, picked up a porn or two and <laughs> put it in the... Cheap. That's when uh, computers played, laptops played yeah. DVDs. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, we were in the car ride home on the interstate. We just turned the fucking laptop on. And made a sticky note that said, "We are watching porn." And stuck it to the fucking <laughs> side window. Dude, so we're cruising awesome. on a fucking interstate. That's awesome. <laughs> that's Do, doing about the same thing, you know. We didn't have it turned up loud, but we were like, "What the fuck are they doing? <laughs> Dude, Why does she sound like a dying so cat?" So much cooler than you. <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> we let a let a blind guy drive that car. Oh, oh, oh nice. Glass. That's uh, awesome. t- uh, Taco Tico parking lot. Ah, oh, <laughs> Lord. So you feel that skinny one? Yeah. Don't fucking touch it. Don't touch that one. <laughs> Keep your foot over there on the big yep. one. Yep. Oh, fuck. All That's right. awesome. So, yes, I, I do remember the very first time I, I discovered porn. And it was at the time uh, my dad uh, was still divorced. And uh, I don't think I know I hadn't met you guys yet. And um, I was you like. You left the tape in the VCR. Sure, fucking did. Yeah, I knew it. A VHS tape, and it was homemade. It, it was. It, yeah, no, it was not. Thank <laughs> God. 
<laughs> but no. Scotty doesn't know. Scotty doesn't know. It was homemade. The funniest part about this whole situation, though, is is that like I was young enough, but I st- I was at the in the house all by myself, and I didn't even know how to jerk off yet. Well, that's too bad. It, I know. You know I was like, young, but those are kind of fun looking. Well, yeah, but something's happening. Something. <laughs> 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 Dad, but, something's happening. But the funniest it part won't was stop growing. it was VHS, and so naturally it was also 80s porn. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Bing Bush. Just Bing terrible. Bush, baby. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, the fucking, like, the, the fucking porn, the porn stash, stash. Oh, and yeah. the fucking mullet and these chicks with big hair. That's still the only on porn On their I head watch. and their it's vagina. It's mm-hmm. good shit. Yeah, mm-hmm. and so that was the very first time I discovered porn. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, and then we are, of course, are going to kick uh, this last question off with Taylor Morosky. I'm disappointed. Why? Because this qu- is the same question that everybody asks every week. No, it this is. is. This is not things this you is. wish were legal to do naked. Yeah, things. Last week was <laughs> things that you want to do naked no, or things yeah. that you wish were legal to do naked. Rob a bank. <laughs> yeah, right. I mean, I if mean, you're going to rob it, you have to be naked. Okay. And then you're like, well, yeah, deal. Well, he's naked. Give him the money. I like that. That's a great answer. Nothing. Nothing. You wish nothing was legal. To I be fuck naked. with my socks on, dude. I, I do not like being naked. I don't. Do I, you know? Dude? Yes. <laughs> oh, yes. Man. Come on. 100%. No wow. way. The only time I take... Do you wear a t-shirt, too? <laughs> oh, yeah. No, it's... it's Why? A, oh, you do! <laughs> no. Oh, my oh, God! No. It's, he pulls it through the holes in the briefs and just fucking... <laughs> that's it! That's all you get to see. No, I don't. I, I don't. I don't, wow. wear, I don't wear a shirt. I do wear socks, wow, though. Wow, dude. That's I, fucking disturbing. I'm not even kidding. The only time I take my socks off is to take a shower. When did they... Like, how did you not learn watching 80s porn to take your fucking socks off? I don't want to take them off. Why? I, what are you afraid of feeling? My feet being cold. <laughs> Jesus. That's fuck. what you're worried about. <laughs> yeah. In that moment. Yeah. Wow. There is something wrong with you, man. I'm There's dead serious. I, I do. That's I don't. Cool, I, I fuck with my socks on. I don't want. And I don't ever <laughs> want to be you, naked. I don't, I don't. I don't. I don't want the to be naked. The only time my socks are on is when I'm in the alley. Like. I'm not yeah. <laughs> fucking. Th- I'm not even joking. Even mm. after sex, you know how people like to cuddle naked. I don't. You I know. immediately oh, no, put not on more. What about no. showering together? That's oh, yeah. fine. That's you, fine. He still no. wears his socks. Yeah. Still yeah. wears his socks. My feet are cold in the fucking shower, man. <laughs> no, still wears his socks. No, but if I'm in the shower, if I'm weird. in the pool, I don't wear socks. Other than that, Do your feet I'm just socks. fucking reek or what? No. Are they nasty? Actually, fucking I have a ma- like my <laughs> feet don't stink. No, nothing. <laughs> I, I just like fucking claws and shit. No, I just don't like it's taking weird, my fucking bro. socks off. That's weird. I don't like you wearing flip flops. I don't like wearing flip flops. Dude, That's different than fucking with your socks on. I would go. I would go into my own pocket to pay for you to see somebody for an hour. <laughs> yes. Uh, I, just deal. Same pocket over here. See. Deal. So now you got two, two hours. Two hours. No. To yes. just go figure your fucking self out. Dude, it's not that fucking weird. Wrong. It is that it weird. Is that no. Fucking weird. I'm not saying I'm a goddamn. If never you took knew, a poll. Yeah. Who fucks with their socks on and who fucks with their socks off? Oh, that's probably 10% of people out there. Bullshit. Put it, put it up. Yeah, <laughs> put it up. Put it up. Put it on. I swear to God, put yeah. it up. We, we need that put poll, it up. sir. If okay. we lose, All right. All we right. will fuck with our socks on for a Start year. Start to... When the episode... When the episode drops... Drops. I'm you also put, put that poll up. Okay. And we get until the next... Next week? Week. And okay. We'll, yeah. I'm, I'm thinking 10% say they no. do. No way. No way. No way. No way. He'll probably vote against And then if you look up the people that say they do and just look at their pictures, you're like, that makes sense. Makes sense. Makes sense. Makes sense. No. No, no. This isn't to prove Scotty wrong. I'll comment that shit on that post. This isn't to prove Scotty wrong. This is to fucking Just to find out. Yeah. Okay. How many fucking weirdos are out there? I I know that you can do one on Twitter. I don't know. I'm pretty sure that you can. You can do it on Facebook. Okay. You should be able to. I don't know anymore. Okay. I don't know how, but I've seen them. We'll figure it out. Uh, But anyways, uh, anything else you guys think? You can do it the same way we do the draft. Yeah, sort of. Really? I yeah. Do, I, want, yeah. I want it to be accurate, though. Well, that's accurate. One symbol think, or a different symbol. Do you think Derek fucks with his socks on, too? I guarantee you he does. No. no. Yes. No. I really think he does. Text him. I bet you Derek Let's, fucks fully clothed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. At least for Katie's, Derek fucks? At, yeah. at least for Katie's <laughs> sake, I hope he does. I hope he just sticks it out of his pants. And, uh, yeah. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Yeah. We're going to... 
We're gonna we're Put gonna put him on speakerphone. We, yeah. we are. We are. If I I hope he answers. He won't. I think he will. Where's my baseball pitch? Hey, uh, we're recording, so be careful. Um, I do have a question for you, and we are very curious on the show. <laughs> no, JP is. JP, all yeah, of us. I'm all, super <laughs> curious. All of us are. But um, So question, uh, do you ever fuck with your socks on? Yeah, always. Oh, oh, I no. told you. Jesus I fucking Christ. told you. What? Or, Okay, what buddy. is wrong with you two? That's that's all I needed to know. I I had a I had a hypothesis well, and 10%, I was right. So there's two. the ten percent. You could have called your mom and asked. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a two for one with you answering. So. Yeah. So, uh, uh, Jesus all right. Christ. Hey man, thanks for the fa- thanks for picking up that baseball. I appreciate hey, it. Hey, ask him. Is it is it? Did he sign that baseball yeah. himself? Did you sign that baseball? <laughs> we there? know you did. What? Did you sign that baseball? Oh, okay. I don't buy it. No, I'm, we're still going to get it looked at. <laughs> it's already been looked at, but that's fun. Yeah. All right, Derek. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. I'll talk to you later. All right. All right. See you. All right. I, no one so on this podcast isn't fucking making fucking any money. I told you. The I, fact that he answered yes should make you feel really, really weird. <laughs> really? Like, that should have answered. That, that right was there. a therapy session right. right there. I'll send you the bill. It's no not shit. that weird, man. It, it's kind of, that weird. Derek does it. It's really Derek, not that weird. Derek does it, it so it is a little weird. It's not. It just isn't. It's okay, man. Some people, that's just something right that they just do. Cool. I, I, if, if I was really confident that Jeremy mm. Joseph would pick up the phone, I'd call him too. But I know he goes to bed like really, really early, so that's probably not going to happen. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that is questions and preguntas. Again, thank you so much for participating in Monday, Friday. Be on the lookout for, <laughs> well, Friday. Uh, ish. For the we'll ne- yeah, ish kind of sort of next time. Uh, and participate. If we like your question, we will give you a shout out on the show. And uh, yeah, you get a, a fucking star sticker or some shit. I don't oh, know. Yeah. Uh, but now we get to move on to a very popular part of every single episode. This is the Laughing on the Sidelines Draft. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines Draft. And ladies and gentlemen, because Derek fucking won and he's not here... Fuck. I fucking well, I, I fucking won. I didn't mean to do that. You beat me. I beat you. I don't see how that's possible. Uh, I beat you. And the fact Rigged. that the fact yeah, that Derek sure. won is bullshit. My list was stellar, and his was retro, and that's all yeah, it was. All right. So, anyways, my list was like I thought the best. I thought it was a good list. It was. You know who's had who had the shittiest list? Derek. Derek. And you know who wins every time? Derek. Derek. Yeah, so that's how that works. That's okay. He's uh, got to win at something. I guess so. If, you know what? If he's not going to win at life, he's going to yeah, win right. at all kinds of other things right. like the draft, Wheel of Fortune, you know, all that stuff. Comedy contest. Comedy contest. <laughs> Two times. Or twice. Ah, uh, shit. Anyways, uh, so yeah, uh, that means that this week's draft, I get the championship picks. Uh, JP... Uh, gets the uh, Eiffel Tower picks as he so mm. loves. Love it. And Fred, because you haven't been on in the longest time, you get the first overall pick. And uh, this week's draft is going to be things that you don't want to cheap out on. I think this will be fun. This, this could be fun. This could be we're fun. Gonna, we're going to find out. We are going to find out. So without further ado, uh, Fred gets to kick off the draft. What are the things you don't want to cheap out on? Oh, shit. There's, there's, there's good ones. There's bad ones. Oh yeah. But uh, I think for my first pick, I'm gonna take condoms. Oh, I, I'm ones. not gonna buy a gas station condom oh. ever again. Man, you went a different <laughs> route. I like See, that. I like, like that. you yeah. went a totally different That's, route. But it's a good one. It, it is, is a good like, one. It is a good one. He's smarter than you. Better well, looking than you. Better yeah, drives a cool you. car than Cooler you. Cooler than you. Totally. Yep. Don't I mean, wear my socks when I sleep. <laughs> Fucking <laughs> weird. Oh, we're a bunch of sock fuckers. <laughs> Anyways, J- anymore. JP, what is habit. what is your pick? Drugs. Oh, Ooh. that's a good one. Oh. Get the good shit, man. Trust me, it's yeah. worth it. Okay. The little bit I've ever done. Yeah, but that's the other thing. If you get if you get the really bad drugs, then yeah. it'll kill you. Well, it could. I mean, it really but, could. Yeah, I mean, you just don't want to fucking 
do a bunch of cocaine and be like, bro, I'm fucking what? Uh, uh, what was that shit? <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? Why did I bake a loaf of bread in my drugs, nose? I drugs, but I meant cocaine in particular. <laughs> I figured drugs would be a better, more broad answer. Yeah. But I wrote cocaine. Okay. All right. Because that's some pretty rough, uh, yeah. Okay. I, I, I like it. Okay. Um, I am going to go with the number one overall pick in this one. It, it's probably just more of a me thing. It's a good one. But those of you that still go out and buy the single ply toilet paper can go Ooh, and fuck a yourself. One. That is a good one. Get, I, if I'm going to wipe my ass, it better not be sandpaper and it better not have the risk of me accidentally putting my finger <laughs> on my yeah. butthole. Yeah. Get the See, good just, fucking toilet yeah, paper. I get it. If, if I'm Jesus paying $9 Christ. for a hamburger, Plus a fucking tip now, at McDonald's. You better right. have two ply in there. Yes, and that's the other thing. Is a if tip? You, what? A tip? Oh yeah. yeah, they ask you for a tip at McDonald's and shit now when you pay. Yeah. Oh yeah. I don't know. I've done. Yeah, they take McDonald's they take your. Real. I don't fucking either. But like, I went to another fast yeah. food restaurant. Right. And they, mm-hmm. they take your order, standing up, and then pay. Yeah. Would you like to tip? And I'm like, fuck you guys. You didn't do shit. Exactly. And the other thing is, is when you go into Taco Bell and then you go home and you have to take a shit and you have single ply toilet paper, yeah, that is a good. bad thing yeah. written all over yeah. it. I so just jump in their shower. You probably need it. to. You yeah. should. And then use their towel. Fuck yeah. them. Okay. And I know that this this next yeah. one is is probably it's a good one for me, but I'm I'm going to go with shoes. If you go to fucking Walmart and get those Velcro bullshit, fuck you. Fuck those that. are comfy as shit. No. Fuck yeah. Absolutely not. Oh, get, yeah. get yourself good fucking shoes. Your feet don't hurt as much. And, well, yeah, I get that. And, yeah. And, and Five the other bucks, thing, I'll buy another pair. Yeah. And the other thing is, is like, you know, hey, dudes, they're not very expensive and they're still the best shoe that's out there. So go ahead. Uh, all right. Uh, JP, what is your next uh, Eiffel Tower pick? Uh, I'm going to go with hookers. Oh, uh, yeah. You got you can't buy the cheap ones. Cheap nope. ones cheap ones are They'll not give you diseases. So I got a, I got a great story about hookers. Can we start a story <laughs> yes. in between this shit? Right 100%. Ahead. So, this comes from my uh coworker today. So, he's uh here in town, plays uh rec league hockey whatever, you know, big hockey guy. And they had a tournament all weekend. And he's at this fucking tournament with a team from Kansas City. And um they're playing whatever whatever. Here come 20 fucking cops. However, I don't know how many cops, but a lot of fucking cops coming cops. down. And once they get down there, they get this team and escort them all the fuck out mm. because they were staying in town at a hotel and got arrested for underage prostitution oh. and drugs. Like, oh, wow. like no. Yeah. <laughs> fuck it. Huh. They came all the way to town. Jesus. And underage prostitution and drugs. Fantastic. Wow. I was like, and it was a hockey team, you said? Yeah, hockey team. How can I get on this team? <laughs> I'll find out. Yeah. I'll find, I know their team name. <laughs> oh, okay. Man. Good. Wow. Okay. I'm going to need some new players. No shit. That's insane. That's so they must have went cheap. Yeah, yeah I and guess that's so. That's why you don't go cheap. That's they will run to the cops every time. Yep, yeah, they sure will. All right, Fred, you get two in a row, dude. Two in a row? Two in a row. I mean, this next one's going to be a curveball, and I know it's not going to be on anybody's list, but um, learned this years ago from an ex-girlfriend, okay. and now being a girl dad, it makes sense. So don't cheap out on tampons. I knew that. Oh, going. man. That's so, funny. you know, every room in my house for since I've had a daughter has had tampons in them. Mm-hmm. I don't know which ones to buy, but I just make sure and get don't get cheap ones. Yeah, yeah. That's a good idea. And then you get one more. Oh fuck, one more. Oh, yeah, fucking food. Yeah, straight up food. That I, I, I was, mean, I was hoping. That I was, come I out. was fucking broke, and you got to do what you got to do. But spend a little bit more and eat right. Mm-hmm. Eat good food. Good I food. can barely fuck. afford to eat. You get free <laughs> meals. You work at a restaurant. That's true. Shut up. And it's a good restaurant it with is. good fucking food. It is. So shush. Okay. All right, JP. What is your next overall pick? Uh, phone slash phone plan. Okay. Don't want to cheap out on your phone. Well, man. apparently you need to because yeah. <laughs> yours gets canceled. Right. <laughs> well, that's that's because I'm poor. That's not because I got a shitty phone. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like you need a discount. I might need to do that, but uh, I can't do it. All no, right, I want my shit to work wherever I'm at, whenever I'm there. Yeah, no. Okay. Uh, the next thing I am going to get. You kind of took mine there with uh, with that. Um, I and then I'll I'll like to redo that one, please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess I just fucking lost. Yeah. Uh, I 
hate when you say that. Well, you know, I'm I'm gonna go. This one just kind of popped in my head, but it's actually makes a lot of sense. I'm gonna say if if, if you're in some deep deep shit, don't cheap out on a lawyer. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. You got yeah. You want to make sure yeah, that great. you get out of trouble. Yeah, so that's I, a good one. I, I'm gonna go with that. And then let me think. Um, I'm gonna go. <laughs> you think if OJ didn't spend all that much money on his lawyers, <laughs> no he'd be free? Shit. No. Okay, uh, this one again just popped into my head. I'm gonna go with you. Don't want to cheap out on a medical procedure. Yeah, it depends on the procedure. I mean, I don't know, I dude. I've seen a chick that went to like Tijuana and got her tits done, and yeah. oh my god, mm-hmm. looks Not great. oh dude, one's that way and one's that way, <laughs> covering both sides of the room. There oh, you go, my. dude. I don't see the problem? No, oh, but that's ruined. I don't even know. Can you fix that? Here's a good example: Tara Reed. Have you seen Tara yeah. Reed's tits? They're bad. They're bad. They're bad. God, who gives a shit? She was so hot back in they're the day. They're still tits. I know, but I mean, yeah, they they're just bolt ons that look weird. So that's probably what okay. she thinks about your socks. Too, probably. So. probably. Uh, JP, what's your next one, dude? Uh, car. Yeah. I, I mean. Really, seriously, I've driven shitty fucking cheap-ass cars, and yeah. I've driven extremely expensive cars. And I'm here to tell you the extremely <laughs> expensive cars are better. Yeah. Way better. They're way better. Yep. It's not even close. Yeah, that's true. My Audi compared to my fucking Chevy Cruze. <laughs> You know, basically what I'm trying to say is I've done a lot of dumb things in my life and made a lot of stupid decisions. Maybe you kids could learn something from me. I used to drive an Audi and live in like a $3 million house. Now I live in a room in somebody else's house and drive a Chevy Cruze. Yep. Here's the thing, man. Being gay is not cool, kids. (laughs) (laughs) The more you know. The more you know. You know. I'm going to go with car. Yeah, there you go. All right. Uh, Fred, these are your last two. Last two. I mean, the only two I got. Uh, let's pull it out strong with memories. Huh? Don't you bet on your memories? So, like, go spend time with your friends. Okay. Go spend time with That's your pre- family. Uh, he's getting philosophical. I yes. mean, and I like it. You know, and I, what like, I, like? I would never expect that out Don't of somebody out that's related that shit, to Scotty. Right? You spend know? time with your dad. Yeah, yeah, before, yeah he dies. Before, before he dies. Before he dies. Right. Yeah. I you wish never you know. It. I, where, man, I wish you'd have been here like five years ago, See? man. Yeah. I was here the whole Just time. wanted to let you know. The whole time. <laughs> <laughs> always, always, you know, uh, try Fred. to make memories with your right. father. I like that, Fuck man. with anybody. I might vote yeah. for Fred. You know, like, I might shit. vote for Fred this this week. Yeah. Yeah. I could I could have easily it's stayed home list. tonight. But yeah, it is a good list so far. Well, good. I hope you go and vote for me. Maybe. What's What's the last one? Uh, Last one's just dates. Yeah, I mean, there you can do cheap dates, you know, coffee in the park or some shit. But once you get married, that's not fun okay. Anymore. All right, but like guys like Steve, Steve is single and he is poor guy. He he's an excellent human being, but he's got to go on dates like like twice a week. Yeah, and so he he's tired of taking these bitches out that just want free food. Oh, yeah. So he's trying to do, like, creative stuff. Yeah, but it doesn't mean it's got to be cheap. That's, well, he's kind of like but, JP so on one of, one of the, the best <laughs> date, <laughs> One of the best date ideas Poor I ever Steve. fucking had. Poor fucking Steve. Right? Is uh, took a girl named Kate out on a date, and we went to the casino. Straight up. It <laughs> and it was great. And it was great. It was almost fate. <laughs> no. But went to the casino. I gave her 100 bucks. So I can go have fun. Yeah? You know, I'm not going to... Sp- smother you whatever and then it just so happened that there was a fucking bar grill in yeah. that same town named kate's oh so i went and had a fucking cheeseburger nice you know i mean just because you're not spending money doesn't mean it's not cheap whatever. that's true i i definitely agree with you though on the married thing once you get married take take your take your spouse yeah. out on, on you gotta a date good, your wife you gotta date your wife yeah. yeah it's that's important so yeah I, I i agree with you jp what's your last pick Electronic devices. Nah, I That's a very, very good one. It Damn. is. If you get the, a, the cheap, Sanyo fucking... The fucking what's yeah. the... Yeah. A VO from Walmart or whatever? Yeah, yeah. Fuck those yeah. things, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Microphones in the studio. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> whatever this motherfucker <laughs> cost, it was too yeah. much. It was expensive. Yeah. They're good microphones. Yes, Dude. they are. They are. Uh, this but, one yeah. smells funny. <laughs> That's because Derek's been putting it places. <laughs> yeah. I always hate sitting in the middle. Okay. No, you don't. Uh, I am going to close <laughs> off. I'm going to close off this draft with something that I should have done. Sounds like extra skin <laughs> and despair. 
I am going to go with home repairs. Don't cheap out because most likely it will fuck up. He's calling me out. I am calling Fred out <laughs> right now. Not on purpose, but... But right after he was like, hey, I'm going to hey, get dad down here for a couple days. Yeah. We're going to redo your shit. We're going to fix your yeah. shit. Yeah. Yeah. Not yeah. anymore, fucker. Uh, yeah. uh, <laughs> fuck that off, didn't that you? on your own. No, the only reason why I mentioned this one actually was because of a completely different situation. It was painting the house, fixing the fucking time where the water main broke on, on its way in. Yeah, don't don't cheap out. You will fucking hate your life if if something bad happens and then all of a sudden you, they're they're not warrantying that shit. Oh, it, yeah. it could seriously fuck you. So yeah, just anything repairs for that matter. Okay. Take it to a professional. Let a professional do it. That's insured. If, Are we on the Mel Hamilton podcast? No the moment or some I shit. Thought maybe no. we, I thought maybe we switched up. No, yeah. but seriously, just just be smart. If you're gonna spend kind of that you know that kind of money to fix something then it's better to actually oh, yeah. do it the right way well so. on your fucking daily needs yeah your house your car yeah your phone bill you got any you got any like honorable mentions in there is it just me or do you guys love the way it feels when you just fucking let go of a huge fart <laughs> yeah yeah after yeah. the date oh just yeah. fucking <laughs> yeah okay you get into the fucking car Don't after yeah. dropping them off just fucking and just, just let it that's go a, that's a good now that you're, when you're married you're Hot not gonna worry about it worry I don't about give a fuck anymore. Yeah. No, oh, I still, I still don't. I don't fart around my wife. She didn't fart around me. I fart around your wife. I don't care. Yeah, that's fine. She calls me out. She doesn't care yeah. if I, I mean, I, I guess I do fart around her, but it's not, I, I try to be, you know, um, what do you call that? Nice. But yeah, we're done. We're done. We're done. All right. Any honorable mentions? I was going to say health care. Health care. Well, Ins- no. <laughs> insurance. It, no, yeah. fuck insurance. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I didn't pick them. They're just here to fuck you. Yeah, yeah they are. It doesn't matter. I agree with you on You're that. You're gonna get shitty health care no matter what. Yeah. Um I was gonna like like I was gonna say concerts. I thought of that too, but some of the best seats I've ever been in are the cheap, cheap seats. Cheap seats. Right. Yeah. 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 That's and, true. And we have we have kind of like a, a different vibe in Kansas. Like we have the cotillion, which is not even seats on the right in front of the stage. Yeah, it's, it's just standing, standing it's just room standing only. Room, yeah. And so I've gotten to see some of the coolest fucking bands. Oh, yeah. Three Days Grace, uh, yeah, Breaking yeah, Benjamin. Yeah, 311. Really good, dude. So oh, yeah. it's a good fucking spot to go see, uh, you know, concerts and stuff like that. Cool. So yeah. anyways, uh, that is this week's draft. You can go to Facebook.com and uh, X, uh, which is at LOT Sidelines, and Facebook, which is uh, Facebook.com slash Laughing on the Sidelines, and vote by clicking on the corresponding emoji with the list that you like the most, uh, that you agree with the most about things you shouldn't cheap out on. Good list. This is all life advice. This is a life advice show. Wear socks when you fuck. It, it makes you have a better orgasm. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, yep. There. Yeah, there it is. Uh, but ladies and gentlemen, now we get to move on to my favorite part of every single episode. This is the laughing on the sidelines shitty situation of the week. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines shitty situation brought to you by Fanger Bang Beer. And ladies and gentlemen, Fred. You're welcome. Yep. I'm bringing this full circle. Yep, pretty awesome. And uh, you can't have Fred and a great show without JP. He's what brings the magic. It kind of does. Just uh, that's, that's glitter. The, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's My bad. The, he's the rainbow flag. <laughs> yeah. Uh, waving dude. Anyways, uh, so this week, what? Nothing, man. Uh, you just looked at me weird. What? What are you doing? I'm so showing off over here. Wigged out. What do you got? A perp? You got a like? Oh, Ooh, you got a rainbow, rainbow underwear. Look at these. that. Thanks for showing that to You're me, welcome. JP. It's my month. It is it not. Is your month? It is Men's Health Month out there, kids. Oh, so if you need your prostate checked, <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> Don't call his cell phone because it no. don't fucking work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> call you hit me up on Facebook. one 800 jp That's <laughs> right. Uh, but anyways, this week's laughing on the sidelines shitty situation is perfect. It's absolutely perfect. I already Which, know the answers. Uh, yeah. Would you rather always have to wear socks? Always. Always. Swimming in a pool, taking a shower all the time, always, always. wearing always. socks? Or would you rather never wear socks? Never at all. <sighs> Freezing this cold winter, up. no socks. The worst fucking thing in the world is having wet socks. But <laughs> I can't not wear fucking socks. So you're going. I am going always He's going wearing in. socks. Okay. Do water socks count? Nope. Damn nope. It. 
We're talking it's fucking suck. Yeah, cotton. cotton. That means pull ups. every yeah. single day I take a shower, I am having my least favorite thing happen to me. But yes. I can't not wear socks. The other thing is winter would suck. Winter would really fucking suck. Yeah. So and some like sports, playing sports and shit like that. Oh like, yeah. Do you imagine wearing a pair of fucking golf shoes without socks oh my god it's terrible holes. that's not as bad as like baseball or some shit where or, you're like well, having yeah. to like stop on a dime or basketball oh yeah or yeah i mean the first year you're getting fucking blisters yeah dog. you're oh, getting yeah. you're getting straight up blisters dog. i'm still going no socks no socks i couldn't i couldn't sleep in them you couldn't no way no way. why no way. not just because. imagine your feet are never cold they're, they're never not cold, cold though. Now. You're fucking they're under blankets. Fucking, no. Well, I don't sleep under blankets. Yeah, I sleep under blankets. Maybe, sleep on top well. blankets. Maybe uh, try a fucking blanket. You we, don't we, need go out, we go outside for a break every single episode, and always we just talk about random shit. And they, we, we made new discoveries. I'm really weird. I don't sleep under covers. I sleep on top of those 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 shits. So yeah, that's another thing that's kind of weird Crazy. about me. Yeah. Uh, so you are you are I'm a no socks you are guy, a yeah. no socks yeah. guy. Yeah. You're just wearing flip flops everywhere. Wherever I go. You all right? Uh, how about you, Fred? I mean, I don't want to fucking vote, but I guess I got to. <laughs> uh, I, I gotta go no socks. Yeah, I mean, the majority outrules it. Like I can't wear right. swimming or to the beach or fucking it in a hot tub, any of that shit. Yeah, but can you but imagine I, at a party they're yeah. like, "Let's get in the hot let's tub." The hot you're tub. Like, no problem, no problem man. Take here, everything off about your underwear and socks. And socks. Yeah. Here, here's my right. white socks at black bottoms. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. No. Oh yeah. But, but I fucking hate sweating in shoes. Like I, yeah, you know. What I, mean, I mean, I get it. I've got some shoes that I have to w- wear without socks. Yeah, and I fucking hate it. I yeah. don't like getting in the water anyway, so I don't think a hot tub or a pool would be the problem. I don't like swimming. I don't like getting. I don't like getting in the water in the lake. You know this about me. Yeah. You so think they're I'm sharks? Fine. Yeah, all the time. Snapping turtles, all kinds of mm-hmm. shit that I can't see underneath me. Yeah, fuck that. I don't want to do that shit. So your socks will protect you. <laughs> <laughs> right. No! It'll, it'll at least keep your toe in there so they can no, sew it back I on. Just, no, I just want to <laughs> fucking no. I no, I do not want anything coming up from below me that's like snaps at my fucking like yeah. toes and shit. No. No, I am wearing socks all the time. No. I'm never getting in the no. water though. Fuck no. that. My wife right doesn't wear socks. Never? Never. Oh god. Never. Those people that but wear she's like she's got two drawers of them. <laughs> really? Yeah. Yeah. Just I mean, in case. you know, I mean, case Scotty maybe, ever comes to visit and needs PJs. Yeah. Maybe in right. the winter with boots, or for sure, yeah, I know right. hunting. She wears socks. But, sure, but no, never fucking wear Ooh, socks. There's another one that would suck without them. Oh Hunt? fuck yeah, hunting, hunting? getting them yeah, sweaty splinters. Oh no, hiking up and down shit. You're getting frostbite. You're <clears> amputating <throat> shit after that. They got they got good boots. Yeah, I mean, they got some pretty good boots. Oh man, and you think that you're you're scared of your like feet sweating and smell making your f- shoes fucking stink? That would be ten times worse. Bare feet and yeah. shoes, and that's why I buy uh, them from Walmart so I can just get rid of them. <laughs> <when I'm> staying, <laughs> <dude. Fuck>. Fantastic. <laughs> Ah, uh, shit. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been an excellent, excellent episode. I hope you guys had a lot of fun. I sure did. How about you guys? Did you guys have no, a lot of fun? It's going to be back. Man. It is going to be back. Um, and I know, I, know, I know Fred does enjoy coming on the show, but, you know, he may not be able to come on as often as he used to, but anytime, any chance that we get a chance to have you on. Oh, yeah. Love to have yeah, you yeah. on. For sure. I, so, I didn't realize I was popular. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. Seeing yeah. some of these things on Facebook comments, I'm like, wow. People. Oh, yeah. I share, okay, a, cool. I share a picture of you at the wedding, and everybody's like, Oh, I know. I'm already a fucking meme. Yeah. I saw that shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was the first fucking comment. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, great. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I just think it's, I, I think it's just so cool because everybody wasn't happy, uh, or congratulations, Clayton. It was congratulations oh, fred yeah. i hell think that's yeah. really fucking cool oh, so yeah. but thank you for coming on again uh fred and what do you got i got one more thing i'd like to shout out uh a listener john shepherd okay he sent me a facebook message he's going to a big drag show thing and oh. he wanted to know if i wanted a t-shirt he was going to get me a t-shirt and <laughs> send me a t-shirt it's fucking awesome man hell yeah, yeah you really sent me cool. that yeah. you sent me the the screenshot of the really, text messages yeah i was like that's, that's pretty really, fucking cool that, man. that, so that, that really shout out is to john shepherd i hope you have an awesome fucking trip i don't need a shirt but if you get me one Hit me up. I'll tell you where to send it. I don't. I don't care either way. But thanks for the offer, and that's just fucking cool. It's re- yeah. it is really neat, and I know 
like I used to be really good about answering messages and stuff like that, but anymore there's just there's a lot of them, and I I, I don't I, I I what sure what there are I'm sure and I can't keep track of everybody, <laughs> right. and I know that they share a whole bunch of videos that they think are funny, and and I appreciate yeah, that. I appreciate that. I always try to look at them. I sometimes do I don't. Sometimes I, I do. I know. I know. But thank you all, you guys. You guys are seriously awesome fans. Uh, keep doing what you're doing. Keep share the show. Tell pe- more people about the show that you guys like the word of mouth is probably the best uh, like advertiser that we have so keep doing that we sincerely do appreciate it again thank you fred thank you jp guys uh sincerely do do appreciate it and as we always like to say guys do us a favor if you like us tell your friends but if you don't like us we hope that your ex fucks all your best friends (laughs) (laughs) and films it (laughs) if you don't like us tell your enemies and until next time guys skittles taste the rainbow (laughs) (laughs) Until next time, keep laughing, assholes. We will see y'all later. Take care.